Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. oh am hot diggity darn. We are live, everybody. Hello. Hey, everybody. Oh, I'm talking the music. The Let me know you guys uh, are doing right well. at the top if y'all I... can hear us clearly, if everything's working right. <laughs> I had tuned into the stream. And the second I did, I I got blasted with the most like high pitched screeching saxophone wail. Like that <laughs> that music was like going off. And so I was expecting to hear like, hey, how you doing? I'm checking on levels and just like ah! <laughs> Yeah, that saxophone goes hard. Yeah, it does. I was fucking music. around. I see in the chat Pyro, I'm sorry in advance. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I, I see y'all out there making freaking Jesus bingo cards, thinking thinking you got got the edge on me. I'm not gonna be phased today. Nothing's gonna guys, phase me. I see the ball going up, and you have no idea what you're doing. Brace yourself, Pyro. It's not. It's I'm um, I'm gonna be cool, calm, and collected. Y'all y'all ain't gonna phase me anyway. Um. So up uh, at the top of the stream, we're gonna try and keep these uh, close and tight like we usually do. Gonna be a bunch of donations to go through, obviously. Thank y'all. Y'all are amazing. Uh, but uh, before that, we have some news to cover. So I'm gonna hit that run quickly. Um, try and get done within the first 15 minutes or less. So uh, let's start off. Uh, I wanted to tell you all about a command that we have now and the thing attached to it. If at any point people would type in Exclamation point to wiki! Oh my goodness! We have a community run wiki uh, that y'all have the power to protect and archive the lore of Digi Destiny. That is in your hands. And yeah, don't Glad Wikipedia you the say, thing. <laughs> Glad you didn't say have the power to edit because that <laughs> that implies use for bad. Please don't do that. No, yeah, please we, don't. we need y'all to help us keep the lore protected. If things happen, you guys want to add to it, that's awesome. If you guys want to keep track of things as they go, we can build uh, a whole system where everybody knows what's happened and knows the, the facts of our characters. And it's it's a cool way to get the community involved, and we appreciate it. It's um, as also, sacred as the Bible, one of the versions of them, I don't know which. A huge... Uh, <laughs> Thanks to Alec Reed because he's the one who started this there, and uh, from there it becomes a huge fun community project. So, we are the Wiki Des Destin. That is freaking cool. I like that. <laughs> the That's Wiki great. Destin. All right. Mm. Um, so. on as Eisenberg. <laughs> so that's out of the way. Very simple. You're goddamn right. There. right. <laughs> um, let's move on. Uh, we have to announce a winner of our Van Logo Concept Contest. Um, just to be clear, how this is, before we announce it right quick, how it works is that that design will not be used one for one as the logo, but it will be used as a reference for the final art, which will be done by uh, Carlo and added and slapped onto the van. Hello, well, Romeo Art, who has a... done the art for all of our characters here on Digi Destiny. Mm -hmm. As well as maybe a paint job that might be happening anyway. Uh, what? Anyway. <laughs> Why didn't you? That said, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and swap over to our little screen here, and I will show you guys which one won the competition. Oh, I love the it, it was a close one, believe you me. We all voted for our favorites on on these things. We gave it a total of like a, a tier series of votes of like three, two, ones and things like that. So I'll be honest, uh, as Chase described it, I voted for Dark Horses. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I was like, look, I like these. And everyone's like, that's cool, Nick. It's not gonna win, but it's cool. It, it was really dangerous. We all had to beat Nick with pool cues. It pretty sure he's gonna get revenge decided this session. after multiple rounds of going through and voting uh, that Digi Gang shall be the official uh, logo concept that is used for the art that will go on the van. 
The what that will go on the where? The art <laughs> that will go on the van. Don't worry about it, Gary. Uh, Gary, just Gary, what? Gary, you don't, you, you, you can and we don't know this. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry, guy. <laughs> back behind the fourth wall. Shout out to Astro Delta who designed it. Astro, yes. Yes. congratulations. <laughs> Astro, yeah, thank you, Astro. Real talk, Astro, you are just a wellspring of ideas and awesome stuff, so props to you. Astro and everyone else who participated in the contest, your talent infuriates me. I am jealous. <laughs> I love Astro's everybody. comment. Those 36 logos were worth it. Indeed, it was. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you again, everybody. Had... <laughs> <laughs> that night, you 36 logos and only submitted three. I just want to say, he kind of had the ass catch him approach of like submitting he, he, like a thousand tickets into win his hats. Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they did. Yeah, there was a reason I limited to three. Nothing against like Astro and all the people here that were able to inspire into like creative means and just fuel that fire. Go ham. Have fun. Uh, oh, yeah. We just know there's a limitation to how much we can you know, do with on here, so we always try. Well, through, yeah. So. Unfortunately, we only have one van. Yeah. For now. For, <laughs> for now. now. Yeah, but give it a minute. You know, we'll get there. Said, we'll see so, if I. We'll see if I listen. To each of us in our own van, sailing towards the big bad final session. That family. Um, <laughs> kind of rolling from that. You'll notice I'm on the screen right here. The reason, uh, if you guys are not a part of it already, can one of the mods go ahead and hit uh, exclamation point Discord for us? Uh, there is a server that we have, our Discord server, and there's a whole section of it that we call the Digital World. It's our ode to Digimon, uh, chatting about Digi Destiny here in DigiGen. Uh, if you want to have a live behind the scenes kind of, uh, chat, but you don't want to spoil everybody, that is the keyword here, please keep it to the Digi Live spoiler chat. You can do that there. You can talk and uh, post your Digi Destiny uh, fan art in Digi Dest art. You can also post your d general Digimon art or art that you like, or talk about the TCG or the Abridged series is with an S, huh? <laughs> you know, that gets me thinking about something. Hey, Red, isn't there something else going on with the Abridged series is? In hmm, with the Discord? Why didn't you mention that? Uh, so, as many of you know, uh, we recently announced Digimon Team was abridged. Uh, we are we showed a well on uh, our way to a time. Yeah, and we released a teaser uh, last week. Well, that, that, not last week. Uh, last session. A while ago. That, last session, thank you. So, we have a little incentive for you guys today. I have been hard at work, editing my fingers off, and if we get to level 3 on... Uh, tier 3 on the donation goal. Uh, we will hold a special event in the Discord server where I will premiere the first minute and a half of Digimon Tamers Bridged Episode 1. And if we make it to Tier 5, I'll go ahead and show you guys the first three and a half minutes. Which includes a special scene that includes a very special DM. And what are you talking about? I wasn't involved in this project. Taking on a, a character for... The taking on a fun character. I don't know what you're I'm talking about. I, I'm not involved. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I wasn't in this project. <laughs> Sweats in the NDA I signed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're finally doing NDAs? <laughs> don't underestimate all power. Yeah, we, we weren't allowed to disclose that we were doing NDAs, though. Was it the uh, yeah, we didn't sign NDAs for the NDA. Makes sense. Well, yeah, 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 we didn't sign so... <laughs> Yeah, it'll be hosted in the Discord server after the stream. Uh, so that'll be, uh, Pow, which channel would that be in again? So uh, I'm, I'm hovering over it right uh, now, but uh, we have server the events. Uh, server events is where we'll host it. Uh, long story short, uh, if after the stream, y'all join up into there, you won't be able to physically talk. We have that turned off there, only the moderators and us there, so we can keep it for the showing purposes of things. But you can use the text chat of it while you wait, get things uh, together. We'll probably, uh, it'll probably take us once stream's over about five, ten minutes, and then we'll be in there with you guys. So just gather on in as you choose. But yeah, huge reasoning to join 
the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, yeah. Wait, the VA stands for voice acting? Who knew? <laughs> yeah. I'm actually about to reply to that. It's with the same goddamn thing. Yep. Um, so that pretty much covers all the... Well, a, a quick... Uh, since I have a little bit of extra time, a quick other thing here. Uh, someone had brought to my attention, uh, and uh, I'm not going to name any names or anything like this because it's not about shaming, but I just kind of wanted to address it. Uh, they said, like, hey, like, you probably shouldn't be showing the Discord on the streams or whatever because uh, it incentivizes people to want to do something, like, bad so it gets to show up on the stream. And I'm like, they would be, uh, and I'm saying this now, they would be held to the same rules as everyone else. So if you do that just because it's on stream, then you're going to have repercussions. I don't think that should be a reason that we stop showing the Discord and the benefits of joining the Discord, or if you want to, uh, joining a server subscription here for uh, all the perks that we have. Which, by the way, the door swings, off, Jockey. The door swings both ways. If you grief, what's uh, some you're... fancy uh, perks of uh, joining either the Patreon or the server subscriptions? Don't tell them. Okay. <laughs> the secret. Trade secrets. You know, I was very convinced to tell them until I was very convinced not to tell them. Okay, tell them, like, everything except for, like, the last word. <laughs> very well. <laughs> well, it, what you give me to get is that uh, we got $1 tiers. On the $1 tier, you get to see stuff at the normal time we release it. YouTube decides a lot of the time you don't get to do that because copyright. That's a patreon so, uh, only thing. You know. Yeah, it's a thing. Uh, and then on the $5 tier... You get to do stuff, and on seven dollar tier you get to do more stuff. And, oh wait, no, you want an accurate description. Um, uh, the memberships let you see stuff early and ahead of time. You get to see stuff like a week or more before it might come out. That's on the Patreon and on the Discord. Uh, you get on the five dollar tier if we have one of those digi dives, you might be able to show up live on the call. Maybe I think that's twenty dollar tier. I want to say I wasn't ready for this. You didn't give me a script. Um, it's true. I didn't prepare ahead of time. Scripts. I've, I've, Gary's entirely scripted. Everybody else here is very talented and does it improv. Uh, Gary's fully scripted. Uh, if we forgot uh, to write a script for Gary, he'd just be silent the whole stream. Yep. Ex exactly. Hey, Jason, did we fix your teleprompter? <laughs> um, I, so, no, this is, this is, that one's my fault. Because I, I, I thought it was just going to be like, a, uh, I don't know, I'll hand it off to someone else for this one and see what mm -hmm. goes. But in don't short, hand it to me. I don't know things. Yeah, hand it to Nick. Anyway, uh, in short, ah! uh, we have a bunch of server perks, including but not limited to uh, polls that are to decide what kind of content comes down the way, uh, exclusive movie nights that we'll be doing in the future, getting all kinds of cool stuff for you guys to be able to enjoy and add to your experience. And we're working towards uh, being able to have an exclusive... Uh, minecraft server that you guys will be able to participate in we're in the beta phases of that working on it um but yeah that's pretty much that there okay now i've pretty much hit my 15 minutes of the news so let's go ahead into the start of our donations on things correct <laughs> so oh, yippee and as, as per usual, this is the part where I can't see what's going on in chat, so if anybody says anything directly to me, please let me know, guys. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Tell okay. him nothing. So... <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we had a, a couple more doozies, so let me actually go to the uh, tip history one. So... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, I gotta keep an eye on uh, on my tokens and Vanmons, so making sure. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, I yeah, believe yeah. the first one is Botluck Productions from uh, three days ago. They said, uh, Botluck Productions, some aid for you, Nick. Oh, he needs it. He totally needs it. Um, I don't have a no We just got from a death trap. Would send the <laughs> Lament configuration, but something about desire and not hands. As for you lot... Rooting for you, Gary. Stay strong. As for huh. you, Dustmon, to quote Pinhead, we have such sights to show you. All eyes. <laughs> hmm. Oh no. As the guy who plays both, 
It's very mixed and mixed <laughs> feelings. <laughs> Hanging in there and getting ready to be pinhead tortured. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Nick has gained four tokens. Wahoo! Twenty dollar. That works for me. Uh, next up, we have a barrage of fiery deity link uh, post. Each of them seems to be a bestowal of a different crest. So let's start here. To ER, I bestow the crest of chance. Life is about taking chances. And these moments that define us, whether the outcome is good or bad, it's the experience they bring that gives your life meaning and strengthens who you are. And that is two tokens worth uh, $10 to ER. Rock on. Thank you so much. Next up, we have uh, for Grayson. I give you the crest. Grayson got the crest of determination. Ah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Not the crest of hacking the government. As no, right? <laughs> Everyone you already expects. earned that. That's a badge. Uh, ah. yeah. The struggles of life may push back at your goals of growth, but your heart will not be held down. The sheer power of will you wield with will carry... The sheer power of will, will you wield will carry you through. Okay. And that is also $10. Two tokens for you. Huzzah! I use them exclusively on loyalty to help call out bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> God damn it. Um, next up is the Crest of Valor for Riot. Adversities may plague your life at every turn, but the burning spirit of your soul fights back against the trials and helps temper you into a stronger person than you were before. And that is two tokens for me. For me. Like, what this was that? Valor. Valor. Aw, nice. Valor. It is the crest Valerie. of Valor. It's the crest of Valor. And I put my two tokens so I don't forget. Okay, so there you go. next up we have to Gary, the crest of oh. confidence. What? That is so <laughs> generous. A, a trait. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, Matt got the crest of friendship and almost immediately went rogue. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> a trait you may feel you lack may actually be the strongest quality you possess. It inspires others and brings you to new heights you may never even may have never even dreamed of, strengthening your soul for the trials ahead. And two mm. tokens to you, Gary. Oh, thank you. I, I, there have been a lot of fan submissions for Crest for Gary. I think that's my personal favorite so far. I think so too. <laughs> it's yeah. adorable. And I love all the fan submissions, by the way. The oh, they're all so good. Don't oh, don't get me wrong. I love every single one of them so very much. Amazing. Lastly, like children, you can't pick your best. Last way of these from Fiery Deity Link, Reiner gets the Crest of Brotherhood. Uh, Aww. Term... Brothers. <laughs> A term Brother. most take for <laughs> granted is Dear one brother. that defines you as an individual. You understand the meaning better than most, and it gives you strength to hold together those you trust in times of dire need, both familial and with friends. I play the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood soundtrack, but we get called on copyright. <laughs> we got <laughs> <not> <laughs> copyright <laughs> from Beethoven, and that's public use. <laughs> <laughs> no, instead we'll just do the title card thing that they do. Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. Just Reiner. the words. Yeah. Anyway, two uh, tokens to Reiner for that. Thank you. I, I really like that uh, crest idea for him. I mean, with the whole him being, you know, having delinquent group of people and kind of just taking care of his family, it all kind of just, you know, you, yeah. feels like that. He's always taking people up in arms that you know if they don't have anyone then he's there to be someone uh, to be with them through thick and thin his whole backstory is the entirety of tokyo revengers 
right? I haven't watched that, but it's it's any delinquent show, like anime esque or whatever. Uh, he's a stay so. up the corner like Kenji Haima from School Rumble. <laughs> oh my god, oh my, god. my I'm boy! Hearing, I'm just hearing Crybaby in the background. Chase knows that now. I do. <laughs> Finally, do. He's got to watch the second part though. <laughs> Surrounded Wait. by an entire zoo's worth of animals posing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, dude. The ending of that anime has Kenji Hama go through. Basically, he becomes Storm. He's hit by a truck. I love it. <laughs> so <laughs> that doesn't sound like it'd be enough to kill him. Anyway, continue. From uh, from here. Well, first, I want to say thank you to Fierce Deity Link for all those. Those were awesome. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Very poetic. Thank skipping you. Skipping the next one because we have confirmed that happened on a completely different stream. Uh, in between, and then uh, Astro Delta from earlier today uh, put $5 and said, this token is for Gary. Gary's, I almost said Gary's divorce. Digivice <laughs> throws off <laughs> and has a message that reads, I hear you were having a royally bad time with a Numamon. Need dimensional shatter, dimension shattering support? Signed Hunter and some other people. <laughs> I saw what they did to ER, and I thought he couldn't be harmed. <laughs> <laughs> we have to correct I'm, that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm I'm still walking on it. <laughs> yes, you one, are. <laughs> one token for Gary. Oh, thank you. And uh, next up, we have a ten dollars donation from Celery Coffee. Hey, it's late and I don't have a funny comment for my donation this time. Use the tokens to even out the numbers and have a fun game. That's an order. Uh, okay. okay, so who has Gary's got... what right now? Uh, I'm going to type it in chat so we don't all just say random numbers. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'm going to threaten you with a good time. <laughs> Grim, what about you? Regar I'm sorry, regarding what? How many uh, adversity do you have? Oh, I have uh, five. Okay, okay. so... Oh, I mean, I mean, uh, I have... I'm only... Uh, five. Five until he's I have ten. Out, I is have what ten. he means. Yeah. <laughs> okay, alright, I got it. My goodness! Okay. Uh, so that looks like one to red, one to storm. I would say that one to each of the twins, probably. Yes, I agree. Correct! Uh -huh. I don't know, Nick might need some more. <laughs> Hush you! <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> Uh, next up, we have Christopher Ramos, uh, and they donated $5 and said token for Gary, and oh. they request that you read off in the narrator voice uh, this message. I know you had stuff up on your I side. I see it. Do you I got see it, it already? I got it, yeah. Okay. Let me just read it really quick. Okay, all right. <clears throat> With the power of anime BS, Magimon finds Mimi's G37 Glock for Gary. With glow-in-the-dark iron sights, extended magazine, and a surplus of 9mm chrome digizoid bullets. Man, I wish I had one of those things in my life. <laughs> Please tell me Mimi's gun's not like a legendary item like the Holy Avenger. Uh, no, but it is a replica. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I could go pew-pew so for the very few few enemies I'd have remaining. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's a very nice collector's item. If Got I'm... it from the same guy who made the replica for uh, CEO Gigi Mom. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I heard He's it, very I'm good at what he does. Through the before time cut off. Okay, so uh, next up we have Alec Reef threw in some. He said, uh, he put in $20 and said, here are some bucks for the smucks. Use them well, oh. Nick. Uh, beef that new No! No! And beef, beef that, that new mama on so that he begs becomes so the becomes B B E G. Big bad, <laughs> big bad evil. Bad. <laughs> big bad evil goo. And how oh, many was that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Four tokens worth. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll have to contend with a platinum new mama on, aren't we? Oh God. I'm going to kick its ass. This is my arch rival, guys. I got this. Now, normally I wouldn't do this, uh, 
But, I uh, know I'm staying completely uh -huh. calm. I'm uh -huh. unfazed. Ha, uh -huh. <laughs> Think um, of the bingo card. I'm staying calm. Um, but this one reads, uh, it, so it has the SOID. Uh, it does not have a name attached to it. I'm sorry for that. If you want to reveal yourself in chat and someone uh, can, like, read reveal off of yourself. Uh, but their donation was $109.82. And, uh, $109 so I can only assume it was actually $110, but the conversion rate it was, took them over. It was 150 Canadian. Ah, I see. Good old Canadians. That. I feel bad. I, I don't think we... It's, it'd be unfair if we went so far as to, like, give far over what actually came in, but I'd be okay to say it's $110. Yeah. I, I, the I'd say that's rate, unfortunately. Hey, look, if, if somebody tries to come in here and just be like, yeah, I'm just going to throw in, like, 3,000 ruples and the equivalent exchange rate, I'm like, eh. <laughs> I don't know, bud. You said dollars, and Zimbabwe uses dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but uh they did put a message because i'm uh feeling unwell today better cool. to make your day a little better the for the players than if any leftover goes to van mon well first Aww, off thank you so much i'm sorry not feeling we, great yeah oh, we hope not. your day gets better and we're hoping we can make it a little bit better for you we're gonna we're gonna try and have a, a grand old time for you here and make you good and entertained and hopefully the power of healing shall take over. Yes. Um, but with that, so if we're treating it as a uh, one ten, that would equal twenty two. <laughs> twenty two. Okay. Um, how do we fairly want to divide that up? We don't. We give it all to me. <laughs> <laughs> So how many is that? 22. Tw 22 total tokens. 22. Right. Um, so Grim is only down by five. Uh, Coffin needs five to catch up. Uh, I'm at six now. I got, I got oh, six one. Now. That's earlier. right. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> my thought is maybe to see how, if we can all get to the 10 and then see what's necessary from there. Uh, let me see. I don't know. Other people do math. I'm not smart. I'm not oh. as smart as Gary. Hey, Grayson. Ah, see, I'm fool. So, uh, our red storm pyro, you're all still at three each, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so the next lowest person is Gary with six. So we could take nine of that out, and then everybody's tied other than Reiner. So it'd be 22 minus nine is 13 left. Then uh, we could probably give uh, and probably that's... three to each, and then the last one to Reiner. Okay. So that would put everybody to nine, and then Reiner to eleven. Sure. Go okay. ahead and set yourself, friends. <laughs> I'm so glad that we could put everybody to nine eleven. Wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> Uh, Good teamwork, everyone. <laughs> we, we did it, everyone. I'm proud of us. Way to go. <laughs> it took us this long to get to a 9-11 joke. Uh, Red, and I'm it wasn't gonna, I'm, I'm gonna ask. Th this, this is a message for future Red, who makes the shorts. Joke. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I won't. It, it's unfortunate that this happened on episode 9, too. Don't you Shaking my fist at you, future Red Beast. <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing. Well, now, I do. Well, here's no, the here, thing. no, no, we present get, Red Beast. You're fine. Well, God, we, 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 we what do you do? It's yeah. First Red Beast, now turning red. Wait, sorry, nine, that reverses. So we cannot let the stream end at 11. Wow. God Fuck. Damn it. Well, uh, I guess I have to drag this out a little longer then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, okay, I'll, okay. I'll hook you. Okay, so we, 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 we figured out the math and we got that taken care of. I saw yeah, what, we are uh, now was, at time. We got, yeah, I saw it was typed to me. I, before we close out, we'll, we'll leave the rest of them for the mid break as we do. And then we'll, uh, from there, if any other donations come in, whatnot, we'll also be carrying that over. But quickly, I saw, uh, someone had, uh, uh, a put a message to me so I can say something as a riot they want. So, okay. 
Let's see if I can give this the right energy. I may not have a future, but unlike you, I still have a tomorrow. And that's worth fighting for. That's worth fighting for. <laughs> Good Think stuff. of instead! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and I think that will cover everything. The last thing I'll say is the same thing I always say. Guys, we love you, and you are part of the team in regards to this, so you know what to do. Uh, let everybody know if they, they come in and you see them asking questions to us that during game portions, we do not interact with chat. It's nothing against you guys in the chat. It's just about the immersion and the experience there. I get you really will... stinky when I play, so you guys don't want to be around me. Exactly. <laughs> Only when I'm playing my character. It's a weird, <laughs> weird, uncurable disease. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just want to go ahead. Uh, I just want to say uh, one more time in case anyone came in late. Uh, if we hit tier three in the donation gauge, uh, we'll be showing the first man and a half of Digimon Tamers Abridged in the server. If we make it to tier five, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. I'll be showing the first three and a half minutes. So everyone needs half the episode. Everyone just needs to spread the Digi word. The DG Evolution is up and coming. Up and coming. Oh, God. Yeah, you know what's, no, coming. what's coming? <laughs> All right. So with I that, love that bullshit song. We are going to make our way into game, Nick? Yes, mm -hmm, indeed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, so bye, bye for now. Enjoy I'll the enjoy remember show, everybody. all of you. you. For now. Uh. <laughs> narrator. And with that, it is time for the narrator. It hit, hit him. <laughs> We're back at it again with a brave new digi tale. When last our tale was told, our heroes, or vandals, trademark, met with a mysterious CJ, aka CEO Gigimon, aka Stock Market Persona 5. They spoke with the Wizard of Wall Street where he offered them minimal assistance, saying he was once an ally of the admins. The group had mixed feelings about working with CJ, some saying he could be a valuable asset, but Grayson was super against it and proceeded to hack the government. Totally out of character for Grayson. But then he fell asleep and woke up in a room with Terrier Mon surrounded by walls slowly closing in onto him to unalive him with a brutal hug, which is very Grayson. <laughs> Thinking quickly, Grayson and Terrier Mon kept their cool and panicked. I mean blasted a wall on the far side and managed to escape in the nick of time. That was close. Good thing it was just him and nobody else, and oh, I've just been given a new script, and mm-hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So it turns out everyone is in a dastardly death trap. ER and Monodramon used the power of friendship to escape. Riot and Flame Mon used the power of fire. Reiner and Dustmon used the power of studying the blade. But for Gary and Magimon, the dice were not in their favor. And as the death trap was about to make a very gory stream, Magimon did evolve into Wizardmon and teleported the two to safety, regrouping with everyone, only to discover that they were ambushed by a Numamon! Dun dun dun! Maybe they could teleport out of this situation. I wish I could use teleport to get out of dangerous situations, like the one I find myself in right now. On trial at the Hog for supposed inhuman research and reviving dinosaurs in a modern day. No, Mr. Judge, you can't have my Triceratops. He's a good boy. What awaits our vandals next? Find out today on Digi Destiny. Let go of my treasure. <laughs> the narrator's storyline is so interesting to me. I, I have so much fun finding. When is he going to be Believe it or not, the Triceratops was a baboon once. <laughs> <laughs> is he going to be a Digimon? He's just been talking this whole time. He's going to just come in. He's the real no, bad guy. Don't make me commission Carlo. Don't make me do that. Uh, I think I think like once we get up to the bus, we should start getting the things up to try to get the uh, the voice to be a thing. <laughs> the narrator mod to be a big. I just want to send Carlo just a voice sample of Chase and just go draw what that sounds like. <laughs> Listen to your heart. Let it no take other you where prompt. it will. <laughs> no other props. <laughs> Listen to your heart. You know it to be true. And then the van and, and the narrator mod confuse. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> so, the lot of you stand in a dome-like structure underneath the city with little bits of light twinkling down from the city above you. And standing above one of the pipes, looking down over the lot of you, you find a very familiar, at least to some of you, Numamon 
staring down and glaring. Oh, I hey! I thought I'd find you bastards down here. I've uh, never seen this thing before in my life. Can someone explain to me what the heck this is? Yeah, I'm yeah. also confused why a snail has beef with us. Rhino? Gary? Grayson? I, Wait, no, I'm I, on. This is... I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is one of the multitude of creatures that got massacred by uh, Monodramon in his other form. And also, a completely, I would like to say, avoidable confrontation that ER started. So this is ER's fault? Nah. Nah, I don't remember it like that. Also, hi. You banished us from our homes, and for that you're going to pay. Gentlemen! And he claps Hold his on. hands, and you see a few others begin to make their way out of the piping. Gentlemen, I have a question and an offer for you. you guys, I just want to let you all know, I don't have my laptop. I am mostly useless right now. Question one, how do you feel about CJ? Why would we care about the boss of the city? We do what we please. So, wait, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Hold, 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 hold for two. Do you want to move into the hotel? I would like you to roll me a charm check. I'm going to set the DC to 14. <laughs> well, that's, that's my DC. <laughs> Especially for me, yeah. Now... Oh, do, do, I don't have a plus one to any of that. All uh, right, here we go. Mm. I have next... to spend... You're halfway there. I'll spend seven. Oh, you're God. Right, your I just got ready. these two. Bust out those the, punch cards. The new Mamon who initially addressed you, uh, you see the... the tension in his little grubby hands begin to slowly slide, and his gaze slightly soften as he looks down at you. What do you mean, exactly? We just woke up in death traps that we just ex escaped. We think he did that to us. What it, do you know about him? Just to double check, that wasn't you guys, right? Like, you guys are just here to throw poop at us or whatever? You didn't, like, throw us into death traps? They throw what? Yeah. Th at your head, too. Um, Reiner takes a step back. <laughs> I hold up Terry your <laughs> The head one Numamon, who is here, kind of scrubs at the underside of his mouth. Believe you me, if we could have thrown you into those traps and gotten rid of your degeneracy, we absolutely would. After all, you ruined our home. That said, inconveniences aside, it was not us. We okay. think, yeah. can I just like roll something to make sure they're on the up and up and being honest about that? Maybe that uh, should be That would scary. be a grit. That would be a grit check, whoever wants to make that, yeah. and it would be a DC of, I'm going to say, 11. Okay. I can't read them. They're so perplexing. They're also a little high up, so it's hard to read their expression, especially in the dim lighting of this place. Fair enough. But as far as you can tell, I mean, their voice is carrying, and as far as you're aware, they haven't lied to you. What's this about taking over the hotel? I think that CEO Gigimon is up to something. It was kind and... of murmured laughs from a few of the Numalon before they go, Tell me something we don't know. Wait, you know he's up to something? He's in charge of the city. He's always up to something to gain bits. Why do you think we excised ourselves from the economy? Wizard Mon's just gonna, like, say quickly to Gary, Gary, is this conversation important, or should I just take them out? 
I'm honestly kind of 50 50 at the moment. Uh, yeah, let's let him talk, I guess. Very well, then. How do you feel about Alliance? There's exchanged glances between a good majority of the Numamon. And before the one that was initially addressing you speaks up, you hear, Don't listen to them, brothers! And lumbering down the pathway, not in the upper rafters where all the pipes are, you see a figure splashing its way down until it eventually is in front of the lot of you. <laughs> what? <Whoa. laughs> Grayson's just staring dumbfounded. I, I didn't expect a Digimon to not look like that. But I also didn't expect one to look like that. He's going That's to turn to there. the Numumon up in the rafters. Did you forget what they've done to our brethren? Turned them into nothing but data and scraps. Why would we allow ourselves to listen to any of their planning and schemes? Harry, am I still waiting? Oh, maybe waiting a little less patiently, but yeah. Because what, what do you have to gain without us? The Numamon again are still like kind of looking between each other back and forth before this newest individual kind of points at you. And specifically, also aiming a bit through uh, Monodramon. I recall the day that you lot ruined our family, turned them into nothing but scraps. The very memory of it changed me. I'm, I'm sorry, and who are you? I was once Numamon, like my oh. brothers around me. I have changed now. I am Sukamon. Monjumon oh. just kind of a little bit afraid, goes behind. Well, um, Sukamon, everyone. Well, Sukamon, I'm sorry for what I did. I was wrong. I was I was under the false impression that CEO Digimon was to be trusted and that it was a good idea to try and get some good graces to, you know, cozy up to that. I don't want CEO Digimon to be in power here, if that's how he treats the undesirables. You can see that the Numamon are now all of them hesitant. And Sukumon kind of looks amongst the individuals in the rafters, and you see his brow furrow and his hands clench angrily. Will your apologies bring back my brethren? I... Will it undo the injustices you have made on us? Will killing what would... us do anything? What would fix the injustice? We have a saying here in the underside of Data City. An eye for an eye. Well, I'm using both of mine. What if... What if we finish... Or business here, and we just go our separate ways. I, you never have to deal with me again. Because these guys, they didn't do nothing to you. It was just me. You see he's going to look around at the lot of you before he points at Flamemon. You yep. were there. I remember you. Yeah, I was uh, banging on the walls, trying to make it sound like there was more of us. Yeah, he was there, but it was me that did, that did the deed. No. You're going to be mad at people who are there on the sidewalk? You entered our home, but it was you pointing at Monodramon, who was kind of cowering <laughs> behind you. It destroyed our family. Claymon steps in front of 
Mal Jamani and Great and uh, ER. You're talking to me, not him. I'm trying to fix this. I'm trying to make things right. I don't want trouble. And then maybe you shouldn't have left your death traps. I f you see, that's the thing. I would be dead if I didn't. You're not thinking about that. He's going to turn and snap his fingers at the Numamon, who all, like, jolt to attention, like, scared. Brothers, I believe it's time we earned our eye back. And a few of them very nervously begin to climb down from the rafters. A few of them saying a pop. <clears throat> we don't and... need to fight. <clears throat> so, so, come on. Yeah. I, I just have a quick question for you, Numamon. How is Sukumon different from Gigi, from Gigi Mon then? All he's doing is ordering you around. I'd like you to roll me another charm check. I'm going to set the DC to 10. I only have two of us tokens left. Oh boy. I can't make that now. Loyalty. I'm dead. I. I how, are you, how, are, how are you assisting in the matter? <laughs> Storm, it doesn't matter. I can't make it even with loyalty. No. It would be I can't him adding make... his tokens, which yeah. are plus two for each token. So. Oh! The, the question becomes, how is Grayson helping out in this matter? Grayson is just backing up everything he's saying. Like, look, we don't... Have, you guys clearly don't want to fight us. We don't want to hurt you guys. We just want to go on our way and try to resolve things peacefully. You're the one who wants beef. We don't want to kill anyone here. Periamon is on Grayson's head, ready to pounce. Just let us go so we can fix the city and hopefully find some way for everyone to be comfortable. And I spent three tokens to push that to a 10. All right. The Numamon all stop. And kind of look over towards Sukumon, who is clearly distraught. He's gone from just pure rage at you guys to confusion as he looks around at the Numamon, who are almost avoiding his gaze. One of us took out a lot of your guys. Do you really want to fight? Five of us. If you're so determined, I can help you see those new Mamon again. Yeah, see, we can't <laughs> keep that one on these for very long. <laughs> the Sukumon. You see him biting on his tongue and like grinding it with his teeth. Mm. Before he turns to the new Mamon. Traitors, the lot of you. And he points at, uh, in the direction of the, the, the now forming conga line of Grayson, ER, and Monodramon, and Flamemon. Terriamon. <laughs> I will yeah. have my vengeance yet. <clears throat> and you see him, uh, roll onto his side and with quite great speed, given his form, dash down the hall and into the darkness. <laughs> You want your eye, take it yourself. Before the Numamon, all kind of looking towards you. They kind of lower their eyes, not really looking at you, except for the head one who looks over at, uh, at UER. We'd rather not lose any more of our brethren and compatriots in arms. I understand that. And whilst we have suffered a great amount of losses, the data is not gone. Reformed somewhere, probably. What? A new egg, most likely. Wait, so Digimon can't die? It is a form of revitalization, if you will. Should we perish in some way via age or deletion, 
in one form or another. Our data is reconstituted in another form. Oh, that's... That's honestly kind of cool. So, so you'll see your friends again? Our brothers here will leave you be. I would recommend that we do not cross paths again. Needless to say, the lot of you are... How shall I put this bluntly? Terrifying. <laughs> Thank you. Please leave our sewers. And you see them all kind of scuttle away into the various forms of darkness. But how do we get out of the... Okay. Yeah. I've never been called terrifying before. ER just kind of slumped against the wall. <sighs> yeah, good job, man. Is there always this much talking with you all? I mean, not... Not always, but I mean, yeah, sometimes. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, no, nobody got hurt though right like that's good this time yeah but i i killed the friend that sucks <clears throat> yo buddy they said that, he, that they'd come back to life i mean does that make it better i mean let all right let me let me see if i get the story fully a hundred percent right it sounds like they were squatting in a place that wasn't theirs and when the person whose place it was showed up and you said, hey, please leave, this isn't your place. You were attacked by, like, five Numamon simultaneously. Yeah. So, like, was that not them instigating it? I mean, but... I mean, could I have avoided it? <laughs> I mean, were I mean, you conscious? I think they want... Go ahead. I mean... Were, were, were you conscious? From being there, I will say he could have had a little bit more tact about it, but... And that's coming from me. Uh, but I don't feel like you exactly instigated it either. I think those guys just wanted to fight no matter what when we uh, got there personally. I mean, one of them did for sure. Yeah. They were basically it was just... looking for a reason to go ape shit or any kind of shit, really. It wasn't ape. Um, the gorilla um, monster. You're probably the closest thing to one in this world. Impossible, no. <laughs> well, uh, I guess so, now we just have to get back home through these terrifying, disgusting sewers. Oh god, the van. Is the van in a death trap? Do you oh, say this out loud? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, why would they put the fan in a death trap? Good point. Can... Can Wizard Mon, to help expedite finding the way, kind of do a little bit of flash step teleporting to get a, a lay of the land? Uh, certainly. I'd say go ahead and roll me a charm check. I'm going to set the DC to 12. Okay. And Teriamon, while he's doing that, can Teriamon kind of acrobatics his way on the pipes to kind of scan the ceiling to see if there's like a uh, manhole like cover? Up? Yeah, like a manhole cover or a ladder. Uh, sure, you can go ahead and do that. For that, it'll be a flight check. I'm going to set the DC. <laughs> Holy to... hell, Pyro! Well, okay. okay. Hey, just uh, in case, I want you to know that I get a plus one to charm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh,. So, Wizardmon, what happens? So, Wizardmon is going to flash step teleport himself around the area in a quick fashion to get a lay of the land and potentially also any rewards or things that happen to be in the area down here that we might not have known about. He's basically going to, without having uh, Grayson's computer involvement, be able to relay, uh, in short form, a uh, idea of the area, like a map would be to them. So, with your quick warping around, you're able to determine, one, the direction that everybody came from in their respective tunnels, knowing that those are not the direction you want to go. 
you can see that there are at least two other entryways that you could go. One that follows along the route that uh, that Sukumon went, and another that is a completely different direction. Doing a quick cursory glance, you can see that the way that Sukumon kind of headed towards eventually ends in kind of like a cascading bit of water coming down, almost equivalent to a waterfall, but you know it's most likely waste. Uh, as for the other direction, you can see that it does begin to lead more in the form of uh, like maintenance tunnels, something that individuals would use for helping to keep the, the sewer system in check, which would most likely lead towards some form of exit. And it is here that you are able to, because of your high enough roll, you find on your quick little cursory scouting, there is a pressure plate that was set up in here. And looking at how it is set up and how it was going to go, you realize that if anyone had stepped on this plate, it would have caused that waterfall from the other tunnel to cascade and start flooding the area. Hmm. So essentially you found a potential trap that could have gone off and have essentially neutralized it by saying, oh, I know where it is, so no one will step on it. G Gary. Y yeah? I have mapped out the area and found that there was a booby trap of sorts. I've taken care of it and also found that our path lay this way. <laughs> well, okay then. Yeah, okay. Not awesome. Yeah, heck yeah. Good, good job, Wizard Vaughn. Also, slight correction, uh, I was editing the shorts earlier today. Uh, Grayson, you do have your laptop, you just don't have a signal. Oh, right, thank you for the correction. Right. Which, actually, I did say that as you were making your way out of the tunnel system, like out of your death trap area, you were able to finally get that signal out from your digivice. That's right, thank so you for the... So you do have access to, to it again. It's probably not a very good signal for your... Uh, for your laptop, but because of the proximity of proximity of your digivices, that's how the message would have gotten across. But everyone would have gotten them at the same time when they left their uh, their containment. Hey guys, this is real embarrassing. My laptop was on airplane mode the entire time. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Uh, but, no idea how we got that. That's an for, airplane for Terriermon, because yeah. you said you were trying to scout up in the top of this little dome area. Uh, yeah. While it does not have an exit in this little dome shape that you guys kind of wandered into, you can see that there's interesting infrastructure down here in that the flooring, or rather the streets of Data City, are, at least from the underside here, almost translucent, allowing the light from the various skyscrapers to pour into the sewer system, almost creating a natural light source. Which could explain why, even though there's no, like, light or lamps set up in the tunnels, why people are able to navigate down here. Gotcha, okay. Terramon's gonna give that information to the party. Nice, okay, well, uh, let's get back to where that light's coming from. Hey, Terramon, you coming down? <clears throat> ah! Yeah, and just land on his head. With I'm a hefty thud. Oh, my neck. Continue to carry Flame Mon on my back because I know he doesn't like water. Fair well, enough. It's, it's not that I don't like water. It's just, uh, water's afraid of me. That's all. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. It's all good. And the you. light from Flame Mon's tail is providing a little bit more, uh, illumination in the area compared to just what's naturally coming in from the city up top. So we hold him up like a torch. <laughs> <laughs> We hold him like Simba. <laughs> Everything the one light touches <laughs> is yours. But what about that dark part? That belongs to Duskmon, and we don't talk about it. <laughs> so, so the sun sets, it all belongs to me, yes. Yes, exactly. So, the lot of you begin making your way down the tunnel that was scouted out by Wizardmon. And sure enough, you do find, after it being pointed out, I would say... Uh, Wizardmon, how would you have marked the area, or at least the little uh, panel that would have been stepped on to avoid people stepping on it? Did you put, like, a dome over it? Did you put a 
a neon sign that just says do not step? He steps on it, no. <laughs> uh, I would say he would probably just raise up some a bit of ground around it to block it. So, like, you literally have to, like, intentionally fucking jump over that bit of ground to get on it. Fair enough. So making, like, a small uh, wall around the entirety of the thing. <laughs> well, All right. I have the clumsy flaw, so someone please catch me. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of you begin making your way further down, avoiding the uh, initial uh, pressure plate that was before you. Flip it the double birds. Ha <laughs> ha, silly trap. Grayson. Yes. I would like you to roll me a flight check, DC of 12, please. Oh, no. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> you have the clumsy feet, I'm required. <laughs> Grayson. <laughs> so. That Grayson, one. as you are like, please somebody catch me, you lean over to the side as you kind of trip over one of the raised stones of the sewer system you press your hand to the left side of the tunnel and you're like oh thank goodness i and then it caves slightly uh, oh no. and you hear and feel a slight rumbling from behind you how did you do see... that it was literally built so that you couldn't step on it like that how did you manage <laughs> No, he didn't step on the other one, uh, on the one that was raised up by Wizardmon. He it was another one. panel. Because of a new trap, because of a new trap, because of a new trap. What does this one do? As a lot of you turn around from where you guys were coming from, you see, making its way at a pretty decent pace, is a very large boulder. Oh no. Oh, thank uh, God, it's not water. I, yeah, just, cause if, I need to jump stuff. called it Indiana Jones. We gotta go. <laughs> Ska begins playing as we sprint <laughs> down the tunnel. <laughs> so, as the lot I, of you begin running, uh, uh -oh. I would like either, if you are attempting to avoid the boulder, I need a flight check. The DC is third. Otherwise, if you are attempting to stop the boulder, the, uh, like any Digimon that want to do so, it is a brawn check of 15. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying your Digimon on that. Would it count as a defense? It is a brawn roll. This is not this is not a combat roll. I mean, but like trying to stop the boulder, can that be a defense? That is not how that works. Defense okay. means combat. <laughs> okay, defense means only in combat. Okay. I, yep. I think Majimon can normally, jump. Flamon would normally want to jump into the fight to try to stop it, but he's kind of limited in the water. With, like water everywhere, so I don't think he's too keen to get off its back. Fair What's enough. The DC check. Uh, if you're doing a brawn check to stop the boulder, the DC is 15. Oh. Mm. And what's but, the flight check? The flight check for 13. everyone trying to run away. It is a 13. All right. Oh, I think Malajuan cool. could do it. How many? How high is the boulder, and how high is the ceiling? It is not reaching all the way to the top of the ceiling. It is essentially rolling down. In little crevice that you guys are walking on. So if you wanted to avoid it, getting to the ceiling could help you to avoid it. Otherwise, if you ran to the sides and tried to jump as it passed, that's another way to avoid it. Wizard Mons. That's gonna... why the, the, the flight check is important. Grab Gary by the hand and float up to the ceiling. All right. Uh, go ahead. Go and... on, get everyone else. <laughs> you can either roll me a flight check or a charm check if you're using magic or if you're just trying to warp your way up to the ceiling. Uh, the DC will still be 13. I'll oh say boy. charm check. ER, use your skateboard. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> uh, oh, another fucking explode! By the what? way, just so you're clear, that's a 26. Fair enough. So, uh... I did say the DC was 13. You beat it by 10. So, Wizardmon, <laughs> what happens as you grab Gary? <laughs> well, fuck. I don't I don't want to overdo that on one thing. I'm just going to keep him to what he initially had aimed for. Um, Fair enough. Basically, he's trying to just get him up out of the way of danger and take care of his partner um, in this situation. I must go he now. My planet needs can me. Pull their mm -hmm. Right. So you grab Gary by the hand. You, using the staff, 
shoot a beam upwards to the ceiling where there is a bar. And with a flash of light, you and Gary are up there. You're both holding on to the bar for dear life as the boulder oh. is coming at you. He's but the fly. You're high I'm enough no up. He's for the Monodramon. The DC to uh, beat was 15. Uh, oh ER, are you I, adding any tokens to this? I only have two left. I don't have anything. Damn that I can... oh. <laughs> so, uh, all right, for everyone else, are you trying to run or are you trying to break the boulder? Uh, Grayson, break the boulder. Grayson is the boulder. terrified, stumbling, having triggered Do this. He's going to try to run away. Uh, I can't meet the DC. I got to explode. So, You're all right, uh, have Terrier Mon go ahead and roll a flight check as well. Uh, We're not and backing Grayson, down. <laughs> Jason is not looking good. Uh, right. Terrier Mon's going to try and Terrier Mon's going to try and uh, push Grayson out of the way. All right, go ahead and give me that flight check. Same DC. Oh, that's that's. Duskmon, no. Wrong name, but correct. What role. is wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> two of them are gonna get flattened. Oh shit! With oh the, fuck! With the uh, with That's too fucking plane long, launch still on his back, do you think Riot could try and pull his hammer out and just like smack the edge off of one of those rocks there, the 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 one that basically Wizardmon had made and turn it into a rock and give it to Riot? I'm gonna uh, can I kind of just Duskmon in a roll. Uh, been, oh, you, you, know, you want to try and help him with stopping the boulder? That's like, yeah. well, he's, he's got the luckiest shot, so if I can support him with a rock somehow, yeah, maybe he can fucking... So, does, does Rhino have advantage on this because of his proficiency with throwing rocks? Well, this I might have, just be the mother of all rocks he has to throw. So I have as, to ask the question, how are you attempting to help Dusk come on? Uh... Because it is a giant boulder rolling at you. Monodramon's <laughs> trying to stop it. Duskmon is trying to stop it. Gary and Wizardmon have bounced. Terriermon has attempted to try and push Grayson out of the way to relatively no avail. So it's at this point, how are you helping to stop the boulder? And what is Flamemon doing? Were you asking me or him? <laughs> I was I'm gonna... asking Reiner first, and okay. then what is Flamemon doing? I was gonna kick Duskmon so that <laughs> the force can penetrate the rock more. <laughs> give him the momentum. That's what you missed. You're gonna give him a push. <laughs> yep. All right, uh, Flamemon, what are you doing to assist with this? Are you trying to get Riot out of the way, or are you trying to help break the boulder? Cowards. Because this will determine. It's going to be these two roles that determine how this affects everybody who is in harm's way, which is currently everyone but Gary and Wizardmon. Listen, Grim, Gary didn't get a role. He just succeeded because of Wizardmon. Would he have oh. led? Yes, but he didn't have a choice. <laughs> I, I will say, I, I will say, ER hasn't actually rolled yet. What would ER like to do? <laughs> I, I have a 20 in bronze, so can I... Can I kick flip this thing? This fucking kick off it? I would say the way that this is going to go, because again, it's a rolling boulder coming at you guys, is you'd have to be supporting your Digimon on this one. So like essentially pushing on their back to see if they can stop it. Okay. So, because I'll, I'll be honest right now, if Reiner, you try to throw a rock at this thing, based on the velocity is coming at you, what it's going to bounce back. Yeah, what but if... if there's a chip in the rock and I throw a smaller <laughs> rock into it with a high velocity, you know, that that's going to that's well, gonna damage its internal, well, like, structure yeah. and then break it. Yeah, well, shut up. What if... Well, Nick, exactly. and, Nick, here's and then the, here's we'll the get thing. hit with a grenade. Nick, here's the thing. When, when you look at a rock, a rock's a weird shape, so you got to round up to a stone. <laughs> <laughs> what if, when you have a stone, it's kind of alone, so you gotta round that up to to a boulder. To, you know, a boulder. Yeah. This guy doesn't so know what he's talking about. Oh, so so you think about it. Why is it boulders? What if so? I agree. What if instead I just like with uh, flame on on my shoulder, so he never has to touch the ground or worry about it. Get him lined up so he could actually attack the. Uh oh, me. I would say if you want to throw Flamemon into the air to try and hit with the hammer down on top of the boulder, you could do that. It's going to be an interesting roll for you specifically. I would say for for Riot, tossing Flamemon into the air, it's going to be a brawn check. Going to set the DC to, we're going to say, 
nine. It's going to be a little difficult because you need to get high enough in the air. Could I assist with my roll to, like, kind of skate off the wall to kind of give him extra lift? Because I haven't rolled yet either. So you're trying to assist to get Flame on higher into the air? Yeah, to kind of give him an extra push. I will One say whatever. each hand, basically. I will no, say I was... whatever is rolled by Riot, you can add your adversity tokens to assist. Okay, here we go. So we'll, we'll <laughs> see how this goes. So again, DC is nine. <laughs> so. <laughs> I asked nah, the question. Stupid. <laughs> who's adding what tokens? Uh, is So, Riot, are you adding tokens to this? I'm just gonna fucking dump all my tokens, I guess. Oh, God. Which puts us at what? <laughs> No, I guess I can save one. Uh, nice. I, I have a question. What is? Why'd you explode on all the other ones? <laughs> <laughs> because that was fucking. Because yeah, Wizardmon uh, is yet to show off their stuff until now. <laughs> Wizardmon is too big to fail. Wizardmon's a whole nother beast, apparently. He's just <laughs> built different. Uh, That's quick question, true. Nick. Uh, I just want to yes. make sure a point of order. Uh, yeah. I assume Grayson and Terramon both fail with their respective roles, so I add two yes. tokens? Yes, okay. you'll add two tokens. So essentially, you tried to run out of the way, didn't have enough time. Terramon tried to get you out, also was not able to get you out in time. So currently in the way of the boulder right now is everybody yeah. else, except for Gary and for Wizardmon, who are up top. Currently, the ones who are facing down the boulder head on are Duskmon and Monodramon, who have tried their best on this one. So... Right, how many tokens are you spending? I spent eight to be able to bring that to the nine. Alrighty, so you try to chuck Flamemon into the air and your foot catches as you're trying to get some level of leverage. And as you're falling, you, with that falling momentum, throw your arm out as hard as you can trying to shot put this small child. <laughs> and... You are able to get Flamemon high enough into the air. It is going to be, again, a brawn check from Flamemon, as well as I still need that brawn check from Reiner to add to this. Again, the DC is still 15, but I will add everyone's cumulative to see how close they get. Not Flamemon saying that all of your added numbers will add to 15, but uh, you guys need to have rolled high. Can oh! I add three to my roll because I'm protective right now? I'm trying to defend one of my friends who are still- I will, I will allow it, go ahead. All right. Uh, I just want to bring attention to Flame on fucking yep. exploding. So, Hell yes, yeah. you did. <laughs> Look at that brawn roll. Reiner, I still need your roll. <laughs> and that's with the plus three already, so that's 11. Okay. So, let's go ahead. So, based on all of this, Reiner, take your two tokens for both your and Duskmon's failure. ER, take your one token for Monodramon's failure. Should I roll my flight check just to see if I get another token back on top of that? If you're if you're trying to avoid by kick flipping yourself out by riding your skateboard, go ahead and roll me the flight check. The DC is 13. Okay, so wait, uh, does, two does tokens. Mons make it? Is he gonna break it? I'm getting to that. Okay, because I I can use my No, we're we're getting there. I Okay. <laughs> so right. I'll, I'll just take him. No, you're good. Uh, all right, so ER, you attempted to try and ride the uh, the side of this up. Yeah. You get only about a quarter of the way up the rim. You're still in the path of the boulder. And as Duskmon has stabbed their blades into the boulder, it is scraping along it, and it's still going. Monodramon, you attempt to headbutt into this thing, and it sends you flying back a, a bit before you're able to land again. The boulder's still oncoming. Reiner, you are pushing behind Duskmon's back, hoping to gain any level of solid ground before this thing flattens you guys. And you see, shining above you, that nice little orange light that has been guiding you down these tunnels. Flamemon holding the hammer that was forged by Riot using the data reorganizer. Start coming down. That hammer igniting. And with a crack, impacts into the boulder. 
that splits in multiple different fractures before being scattered throughout the tunnel, making a loud echoing noise that hurts your ears. Riot's gonna rush into the impact to catch him before he hits the ground. I'm gonna need you to roll me a flight check. I'm gonna set the DC to seven. Okay. Man, today's a day. You slide, power slide on your knees to try and catch Flame Mon. And you hear a splash behind you as Flame Mon lands into the water. <laughs> Why did he For anyone that's that played Hi Fi Rush, it is that scene. <laughs> Good job, Flame Mon. <laughs> Flame Mon, you are still holding on to the hammer. You are face first in the sewer water. Did I do it? Did I digivolve comes... and save the day? Uh... Everyone hears blubs coming from under the water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to scramble over to him and pick him up and put him back on my back. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Uh... 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 This isn't what... This is a little bit of water, but mostly not. Okay. God. Hey, Wizard Mom, we can, we can go back down now. I think the boulder's been shattered to a thousand pieces. Very well, Gary. Your friends seem... Hmm. You, can, you can say whatever compliment you... Oh, it's not a compliment. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that they, they're, they're your friends, too. Right? It's peculiar. You would they think they'd put more effort into protecting their allies. Uh, I mean, it looked like everybody tried their best to not die. Just the guy who just flew it away. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. My people need me. Zoop. You're not my people, him, by the way. For Zoop. him, he's like a digi... <laughs> For uh, uh, a partner is supposed to protect their digi destined, and he feels like he succeeded in that for his. And that's... Oh yeah, don't uh, don't get no, me wrong. You're not, right. not bashing. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, bashing. Just, I'm just making a joke. I don't. I'm so. sorry. I'm I'm j I'm trying to in lore play him a certain way, and I'm. I'm I get you, man. Don't worry about. I, 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 I think it. I'm. I'm just I'm just no, I'll oh, fuck you. <laughs> All right, but yeah, uh, Wizard Mon's you're... going to float down and put Gary down and also kind of hover above the ground in neutral position. You you grab Gary's hand as you are both holding onto the pipes and your staff turns into an umbrella as you Mary Poppins your way down. <laughs> Mary Poppins, y'all! Are they cool? <laughs> the coolest. <laughs> Before eventually landing with a soft sploosh into the water. Hey, is everybody okay? Anybody hurt? Sorry, guys. I that one was that was that was my fault. Uh, I mean, I, I screamed it. really loud about it, but it, it's it's not your fault. Grayson just is looking hey, down. Don't 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 worry. We'll take, we'll keep an eye out for the traps. I mean, you know, Digimon can't poop anymore, so instead they filled the sewer with this shit. <laughs> oh yes, it's, it, oh, it's artificial. It's terrible. Oh, it's in my nose. <laughs> May I ask you all a query? Uh huh. Yeah. Is it hard to? And this is to my fellow Digimon. Oh, okay. Is it hard to protect your partners? What's that supposed to mean? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, my head still hurts. <laughs> I mean it as no insult. It's just... It seemed challenging for you. Yeah, well, we... Not all of us can freaking fly out of the way, man. Real challenging to run away. 
Again. Fuck yourself. Hey, Saying it like it's Gary, not an instant. I don't think they actually are, my friend. They don't seem very friendly. We were until you started saying that shit. How are we supposed to take that? It was a little mean. Yeah, come on. It's it's fine. It's okay. It's not. You you were nicer when you were Magimon. Magimon didn't I, seem to accomplish very much. I don't get why you're so different after you did You're the same person. Dust one's edgy, you're rude. What's with you guys? We're the same people! Screw digivolving. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. The place I'll, seems. Uh, I'll put up the wheel. The place seems darker now. Not because of the light fading or anything along those lines, but you can definitely tell that this the gloom is affecting all of you. And you begin to make your way further down the tunneling. Until eventually, you see that there is a ladder that seems to be leading up. Well, this looks like the thing. So, let's get up it. Yeah. Should, should Wizardmon climb up last in case we're all too weak to make sure Carry him on. others can climb up a fucking ladder? Carry him on. Yeah. Here, you guys go up. I, I need to have a little bit carry him on. Yeah. I'd be more than happy to bring up the rear if it helps. W wizard mod, it, wizard mod, it's not the it's not the time. Hey, if you want me to help you show how to make him not be a ass hat, I can gladly show you, Gary. Yeah, that. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. When we're not in danger, let's. Uh, how about you show me that? Yeah. Grayson is going to pull Carrie on aside. Just talk to him, like, buddy. It's fine. It's, it's not. He was super chill before. I don't know what the hell happened to him. It's. It seems like it's something that happens with his evolution. Like, Dustmon becoming, like, super intimidating. Strikejamon apparently is a murder machine, and. Uh, so long. Uh, I'm sorry. You did nothing wrong. No, I, I, I'm sorry that I'm. You got sad with me as a partner. If I'm, I'm happy you're my partner. If I was, if I was better, maybe you already have digivolved. Maybe you wouldn't have. I, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, I, I feel like I'm dragging you down. Like I'm not bringing out your potential. Grayson, I don't care about digivolving. I really don't. I'm your partner. I just gotta make sure you're safe. And Wizardmon's on the scene for two seconds and he's making it sound like we I've never done that at all. That's just because we're lacking in one situation that we've never been able to help you guys. As if he's never struggled to protect Gary. Was that a little hot there? Maybe. Maybe, yeah, but just Gary is also learning the ropes with this new partner with Wizard Mon, so go easy for his sake too, okay? The last thing we need is Gary feeling like he broke his partner by digivolving him too. Okay. Right now the last thing we need is to be at each other's throats. We're team. Like, you, me, he are partners, but the ten of us, we gotta stick together. Okay, fine. I'll play Gary. Nice. Yes. Yeah. You were the first one oh. who found the ladder, correct? Uh, yep. I think I was up, up front near Wizardmon. 
Very well. You put your hand on the ladder and begin to climb, and you feel as you put your weight on the ladder, it kind of jostles slightly, almost like it slightly descends. And you hear an audible, and everybody in the tunnel hears this. Ka-chink! Yeah, right, we should- Oh, no! <coughs> Is that another trap? Followed Is... by... Dun, 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 That could be anything. soft and subtle, like, whistling sounds coming at you, which I can't make very well over this microphone, but... For everyone still in the tunnel, which is everyone, I would like you all to make me a flight check. The DC is 14. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, look alive. Something's make sure coming. That you're, make sure that your uh, character oh, sheets is it, are, the, are every, like, appropriately. Did you want end tamers or Everyone. just tamers? Everyone. Hey, pow, uh, get ready to take an adversity token from Flamon's flight roll. <laughs> ah! It's ah! a C4 flight. <laughs> oh boy. I found that funny because you called it before it even happened as a one, basically. Oh yeah, one percent. I mean, it's a D4, my guy. What? He's not very nimble. This is going oh, so well. <laughs> I, Nick, I'm glad you're having fun with these death traps. Oh, I'm having oh. a great time. <laughs> What's uh, the DC? The DC was a 14 for flight. That's really high. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm gonna put four on Reiner. Okay. One, two, I'm three, gonna put. Three. Just as a reminder, I can't use loyalty on Digimon, correct? Digimon. On my point, no. On your partner, no. Just, I know that's gonna be confusing, so uh, the last one was actually Riot. The first one was. The first was... one was Bazermon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's make sure I've got everybody right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm yeah, missing one. Yeah, let's count it out to make sure. There's Mono Dramon. Perfect. So right, everybody, okay. everybody except for Reiner failed. Uh, what's the DC? DC was 14, 14. for flight. Here we succeeds. All right. So I take it and chuck him depending on what's going on. Very well. You hear the thumping of and rushing of wind on instinct. Grayson, you chuck Terriermon into the air. Yeah, you know what? Everyone, except for Reiner, who immediately drops to the ground, like flat as can be. All of you feel an impact in your side, either coming from the left or right side. <laughs> for every human that was hit, your shield is broken. Oh, boy. Ooh. It will reset at the, when, at the next dawn, like it always does, but currently you have no protection from damage right now. Hmm. Oh. For every Digimon that was hit, I need all of you to roll me a brawn check. The DC is 12. Yes, that's I, my I need to <laughs> There we go. Time to roll. Ter Terrymon uh, absolved. Terrymon this, succeeded, right? so they don't have to roll. This is specifically for the Digimon. <laughs> hey, Bob, you get another adversity token. Brawn check. Here we go. All right. Brawn. Oh, that's not terrible. It's still not meeting the DC, but it's not as bad as it could have been. How much was the DC? The DC was 12 for Brawn. All right, I'll give one. Woo! One to Duskmon. All right, so Duskmon succeeds. Yeah. Flamemon fails. I need Monodramon, and I need Wizardmon. You said a Brawn check? Brawn check, DC of 12. <laughs> Why? How would that happen? Um... Well, <laughs> you got this, what? wizard mon. <laughs> no! I got cocky. Jack shit. <laughs> and the humbling begins. So, <laughs> Duskmon, as you feel the impact, uh, you look down and immediately one of the eyes on your body closes shut to the point that it snaps whatever it was that impacted you. And you look down on the ground and you see that what had impacted into you and is slowly oozing out some form of substance was a dart. For every other Digimon, which would be Flamemon, Monodramon, and Wizardmon, as you all pull the dart out of whatever side it impacted, you guys don't feel so good. You feel a little woozy, and you're not too sure why. Oh, no. And that uh. will impact later. But for Ugh, now, places. things are not feeling okay. You do not feel 100% right now. You've not oh, taken any damage, but I'm keeping track of that for later. Can Rice quickly pull out of his bag and slap frickin' 
flame on with a status chip. You have one? Yes. I've been holding on to it. All right. I have one too. Yeah, I think everybody's got a status chip. I do <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, no. But so. Terry, Terry Mon succeeded. Terry Mon did succeed. So, Flame Mon, Monodramon, oh, yeah. and uh, Wizard Mon were affected. So, of that, Gary, do you have a status chip? Yeah, Gary's got a status chip. I have a so, heal chip. Is that the same? When, it is not when, the same. What is the status chip? What was that given from? That was from loot that you guys were given at some point, and I believe you... If it wasn't given to you, I believe it was either you used it or some such, but regardless, I probably I'm, just forgot to write it I'm down. I'm ab absolutely honest. sure I've given you guys that loot and you guys should have written it down, so that is not on me. <laughs> I have a stash ship too. So, so I can help Majamon. Very well. Uh, right, you go ahead and you slap the status ship on Flame Mon. Flame Mon, it takes a minute <laughs> until eventually, kind of like. Oozing out of your fingers, you see a almost greenish substance of some kind that eventually pools and lands its way into the waters below. Was I turning into a Numamon? Oh, God. But you I feel hope. better. You feel oh. better now. Yeah. I, I feel great. I start climbing on uh, Riot. Get me out of the water, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my stash chip on Monogamon. Yeah, see. Fair enough. That this works. Gary's gonna status chip wow. wizard mon as well. Grayson well. is throwing up his goggles, just looking around. Do I see anything? Wait, you do not, but uh actually you know what? Roll me a Yeah, go ahead and roll me a brain check. I'm gonna set the DC to ten. Ed? Oh, I I'm looking at uh Brawn. Brain's check uh ten. It's a, yeah, brain. And this is again gonna be a snap decision because you guys don't have much time down here. So mm -hmm. Uh, scanning around the area, you can see that what has opened up around you were a couple of tiny little vents set into the walls that are still open. A little hard to see in the darkness and the dim lighting, but from your scanning, you can see that there are small little turrets that apparently seems to have shot out these darts. Okay, looks like we got hit with some uh, more booby traps. Everyone okay? Uh, I think... Are we? Is everyone good? I Shields are down. So. Take a while for them to recharge. From here on out, let's assume everything in the city is attacking us. Honestly, Just guards yeah, up. Fair at this point. We, Just we keep need your to get guards up. I need to get to the data reorganizer. If we can get there, there's something I've been meaning to try. So, All right, let's do it. you guys begin your ascent and. After the ladder kind of slid its way down, it doesn't make any further uh, movements as you kind of rattle it, and nothing else comes out of the little dart turrets. But you all begin to make your ascent back up into Data City proper. And we're surrounded by the police. Let me go ahead and drag you guys over to Data City. I was just expecting that one giant Bravo gaff for this. Uh, pardon me one second. Oh, I see he's consumed by some... I don't remember what it was, like ants or something? You so. all make your way up to the surface. And as you reach the top, Gary, you're the one who kind of like moves the manhole cover over to the side. You see that there is a bit of some commotion that you hear off into the distance. And you pull yourself up, and everybody else eventually gathers alongside you. And you can hear that the majority of the, the noise, which appears to just be a lot of, like, discussion and kind of shouting, is coming from the north. And getting kind of a, a general view of your directions, uh, Grayson, if you go ahead and you, like, open your map of, like, the city proper, which you, you would have been able to figure out at this point, you realize that you are kind of on the southern end of Data City closer towards where the firewall was that you guys broke down. And you can tell that the noise is coming from the north, which is where the towers are. The hotel. Mm-hmm. Is it going? There's a bit of a commotion, guys. I think it's around the towers. Let's, let's, uh... Let's, let's figure out what's stealthy. going on with that. So, a lot house. of you begin to make your way back towards the hotel proper. 
And as you turn a corner where the tower is in sight, it is immediately apparent what is wrong. First, you see a crowd of Digimon that are all kind of surrounding the outside of the tower, not facing your direction, but kind of shouting a bit at the tower proper. And looking at the tower, where previously you had seen a bunch of like open windows and areas where people would have had rooms in the hotel proper to kind of like look out onto Data City, every window has been replaced by metal sheeting. Almost as if the entirety of that place has gone under lockdown. <sighs> and a lot of the chatter that you can hear is a lot of generalized confusion. Some people who are saying like, I have to go to work, what's going on? And some people who are even complaining that some of their businesses were locked up tight. Wait, so other buildings, that... or is it just the... Uh... The tower Hotel. itself is under lockdown, but from the chatter that you're hearing, it appears that a lot of the city's been affected in some way, shape, or form. Hate to sound like a broken record, but uh, I doubt this is CEO GG Mon. I would like to argue. I mean, the new do you think the spirit of commerce is going to shut down commerce? It's not, we're not going to get into that right now. Let's just Look, I'm just saying. I just want to say that the new mom may sound like CEO Digimon's up to something. He had something is afoot. I don't. We don't know what, obviously, but we we don't have enough information to speculate. So, like Eos said, let's figure that the shit out. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys begin to sort of make your way through the crowd. Uh, eventually kind of reaching towards where the front entrance would be to the central tower. And that is where we're going to take our first break for the evening. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, let me get us over to... Can't wait to see how CEO Gigimon locked everybody out of commerce. I would like to apologize for ever to everyone for how I am playing <laughs> Wizard Mod. God. You should. You should feel so bad right now, man. I am scolding you so hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> no, he hurt Harry Mon's feelings. No, not yours. I'm oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the idea of him basically not being able to grasp how it's not easy is the way I was trying to interpret him being boastful. Like it become it, it, it feels like it comes natural oh, to okay. him, but he's not trying to be a dick. He's just not really thinking about how it, it I, affects others. His lack I of empathy. Assumed, <laughs> I assumed it was the boastful uh, boastful flaw. Yeah, Terry One has that too. <laughs> so, so it makes a lot of sense that he was the one that went it's, Fuck it's you. hard for me because i started him <laughs> off as a very quiet character and i want to keep that but it's hard to be boastful and quiet at the same time so how do you do uh, that and you can do it with like your like body language I, I i love how terry Mom was like dude you used to be cool <laughs> <laughs> Used to be awesome, man. What happened? You were my you? idol. <laughs> let's, let's not go that far. Let's not go that far. Tail only has one idol. I will in say, the it never beat your heroes. I will say though, I do actually kind of like this very different take on boastfulness, where it's, if, if anything, it comes off more as like a lack of empathy, which mm -hmm. I I think is very very unique and different. It's not something I would have ever thought of, but we'll see how this develops. You'll yeah, see how it, it goes. <laughs> it's just the product of trying to keep what I had, but not, like, go off the track of what I'm supposed to do, if that makes sense. Oh, Christ, we're almost at tier three. <laughs> oh, Is that surprising? <laughs> we're getting there, guys. It's almost there. Oh, did we get more donations? I, I, wouldn't, I didn't yeah. notice. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom. If any of them off, anything off of me, let me know when I get back. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's uh, enjoying games so far and all of the, the nice fun I'm throwing at them. <laughs> so ah, damn much it, the bingo card, so I'm fucked! The time. Yep. Hey, we haven't done any criminal activity yet. While, while 
it wasn't explicitly feces. Flamon <laughs> did get covered at least half in sewage. Yes. <laughs> So that's going to count for some of those bingo cards. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> the ramifications <laughs> of the bingo cards are extensive. God that damn it. <laughs> Is this how we're doing it? The bingo we're cards. Doing it. Yo, yo, are oh, ridiculous shit. and funny. Like, the fan base comes up with crazy stuff. It's pretty dang great. <laughs> uh, I have something to tell Red Beast when he gets back. Oh, really? What would that be? First minute and a half. Oh! It indeed... Congrats, everybody! Hey, uh, uh Red Beast. Yeah, what's up? Uh, d just over here so they can hear you my mic. What's up? First minute and a half. Oh, jeez! Uh... Okay! <laughs> okay, I should edit that, actually. You mean it's not finished? I don't... <laughs> Uh, well, he, he's gonna be busy doing the stream. Oh, that's an interesting question in chat, by the way. It said, it was question for me is, uh, am I disappointed that everyone resolved the Numamon encounter with diplomacy? No, I'm impressed. Because I was very much so gonna go about it in the way of like, no, Sukumon is gonna be angry regardless. Like, he's gonna be mm -hmm. inconsolable about this shit. But I'll the high charm impressed. rolls, the high charm rolls got the Numamon on your guys' side. And they're I... like, look, this guy's a fanatic. <laughs> I love that if they had been like, yep, we'll follow you. Now show us to our new home. They would have come up to a barricaded <laughs> fucking tower. No and one they would have been like, you are the worst. <laughs> they wouldn't even like made it an attack. They would have just dropped poo on your shoes and walked away. <laughs> Foiled again like a common baked potato. <laughs> I had every intention of like... Whether the result would have turned out right or not, but the first roll did turn out to be like a hot roll. It was talking to Gary and him saying not to do it, but I was totally intent on just like, wow, he was still talking, blowing him the fuck away. <laughs> uh, Pyle, I just want to say, I appreciate you actually letting me have that social encounter. I don't get, I don't try to actually do a lot of that in most games. So I appreciate getting the chance to actually try some diplomacy. Well, Thank I you. mean, so outside of friggin' Wizardmon stuff, me as Pyro, I'm like, this is his moment and this was his story. He engaged mm -hmm. it initially. Mm -hmm. No, I appreciate that, yeah. Just like me as Chase, it, I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen with this van that y'all are gonna paint against Gary's will. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> Gary, however, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I love the comment. Tailmon is slowly getting more and more unhinged. No, this is about this. Uh, you maintain the same level of unhinged. You're just noticing more of it. You see more I've... of him. You know. Yeah. Listen, he's he's got got Terrier Mon is as hinged as a pocket door. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning there's no hinges on it. Yep. <laughs> also, I think I think it's starting to settle in that uh, TO three. What the fuck? Holy shit, guys. Yeah. Holy... God damn, y'all are crazy. I'm gonna like. I'm well, gonna I guess we're seeing right the first minute and a half. And I'll yeah, I should do the same. For sure. Yeah, I actually need to right also back. do my bio break, so I'll be right back. I'll be taking my break as well. Uh, Red, let me know if I get any. Tokens. At this point, we'd like to introduce a new segment on Digi Destiny: Ask Reiner, where we open up the chat to you to ask Reiner questions. Uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can ask me something. Maybe two things. <laughs> Why are you asking me, Red? <laughs> Just kicking it off. Because hmm. that, because damn it, I love Rhino and I want to know these things. His favorite color. Uh, I say uh. Red. Ah, it's a good color. Yes. Power. Strength. He's evil. I have back. returned. <laughs> what was your favorite thing to cook? That's a good one. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this red? You <laughs> Why am I seeing yours? Because it's probably gonna be I, I, I've seen several others. Uh, like, I don't know. How many rocks have you been thrown? Have been thrown? Throwing a lot, uh, you know. I think I think he at one point wanted to be in baseball, but you know, kind of just 
didn't fancy it, it took a lot of time from cooking i think was the only problem we could have like been a, it a lot could have been a thing during high school to play yeah i guess more lore for uh, when we do a dive exactly <laughs> Feel free to write down what you have. Uh, but what's your well, favorite thing to cook? Um, something, something more homey. Something that you wouldn't think. I, I think like a communal kind of hot pot. I think that's his favorite, and it's not a really hard thing to cook too. But it brings everyone together to talk. Nice. Yeah. So. That is very unorthodox. I, if it's his favorite thing to cook, it'd be that. His favorite thing to cook, like in general, I'll probably say for dive. So yeah, someone wants to ask fair. that again. Yeah, so yeah. we need to do an, we need we need to do a dive at some point again, and what's we'll be getting close at? to that. Uh, so what's, yeah. what's up, Red? Uh, tell you on Digivolution when. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll see how you guys make your way into the tower. And we'll go from there. Oh, hey, I'm back. Hey, so Nick, um, yeah, flame on Digivolution win. Uh, well, <laughs> you guys have to make your way into the tower, so we'll uh, we'll see then. Oh uh, no, flame oh. hit that rock pretty hard. I think he can't own that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Why well, miss? Um, so okay, yeah, I, I, I'm back as well. Uh, I think I should start reading off. Uh... Chase, are you back? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I only answered Red's questions. I thought we'd have more time. <laughs> oh, no. No, you, you answered the questions. We'll just have to make sure that Grim is around for the next dive. Is I that... hope so, too. Actually, yeah, because the first one... What was the first one? I think it was me, Red, Storm, and Nick. Everyone but Chase and Grim. Yes. Yeah, so we'll, we'll try and make sure that those two can be on the, the next one, at least. Like, try and get some people who haven't been in on opposing ones, so there's always questions that can be asked to people. Exactly, because I know there are some questions specifically catered towards Gary that I cannot delete off the dive until they've been answered. So God that dive is slowly getting bigger. <laughs> that said, though, I should start reading these off while we're uh, here. Uh, okay, so... Uh, going back from the ones that we've had previously, and before I start reading off these donations, just to reiterate, uh, we've made it to tier three on the, the gauge. So that means you're going to, after the stream, if you are part of the Discord, one of the mods, please, exclamation point Discord in the chat, uh, you're going to get to see in a session with us there in the server events board, uh, the first minute and a half of Digimon Tamers of Bridge. But it could be three minutes and a half, including a fun little scene involving our good old DM here in a voice acting capacity. I don't uh, know what you're talking about. <laughs> but that would require us making it to tier five on the gauge. So the ball's in your court. If you can do, cool. If you can't, please understand that's okay too. Uh, I don't say this enough, but I want to make sure it's said. Never harm yourself to help us. Take care of your own financial obligations. The money that you guys can do for us, we love, we appreciate it. You guys are awesome. But also remember, you're not helping us by harming yourself. Don't ever do that. Um, that's that. Okay, so going into the donations here. Uh, we've got Andrew Sorbel. Uh, they donated $60, and they said, uh, first time live, and I'm ready for some fun. I'm curious if the van will ever be sentient, or if it'll just be a running joke. Anyways, tokens all around for everyone. Stay sexy, y'all. Well, <laughs> good news. We try, and keep, we try and keep things as a joke, but you guys are just too stubborn. Yeah, guys, we'll, we'll we'll get there when we get there. I have to make it a fluid moment. It has to happen naturally, you know. Like I can't I can't just all of a sudden be like, and suddenly the van turns to Gary and goes, "Thank you for taking care of me, father." <laughs> uh, that <laughs> that is, uh, is Sobble, not Sobble. It's 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 what? 
It's Sobble, not, not Sorble. Sobble. Sobble. I, okay, sorry. Yeah, I apologize. Give him Sobble. Sometimes like, my I brain return. goes crazy. How, did you? How dare cards. you have a brain? <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like $60 would equal... Huh. Huh. Ten tokens. I think. Ten tokens? Wait. Twelve. No, Twelve. Twelve tokens, friend. Okay. Uh, so how do we want to divvy that out? Oh, is that for the whole crew? Yeah. I see. Uh, two each, and the other two go to Nick? Suppose we... Yeah, we can do that. Well, okay. If, if oh, y'all are, are in agreement with it, or... <laughs> the five of us fights. <laughs> <laughs> and and get win. the last two. Give me all. <laughs> uh, he decided. <laughs> all right, so everybody take two tokens, and I will also take an additional two. Okay. One well, of them has to go to Vanmon, though. Next. I uh... I will remove one, and I will give one to Vanmon. I was kidding. Next. No, up... I, I no, I'll do it. It's funny. <laughs> Next up is uh, a message says, uh, playing uh, Legend of Zelda, uh, the. Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. Uh, while watching, so happy to live watch these streams. Tokens to my favorite overreactor, Pyro. And <laughs> any over to Lord Vanmon, brought to you by Advice Bad Sage. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Bad Sage Advice. Oh, I actually do you. know. It's just a running gag thing I do. I, You're so I, cool. I, thank you. Even though I'm pretty sure after me acknowledging that, I will never see a donation to me again. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed. Why are you so mean, Pyro? How could you? That said, uh, seriously, thank you. So that's 12 just to me? If uh, if you have enough space. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so two tokens, uh, would be left over, and they said that goes to Vanmon, so... To Vanmon it go! Very well! Vanmon gains more tokens. Vanmon, wee <laughs> Now, this may be an unfamiliar name. Um, we have, uh, a donation from Alec Reef. Who was that, oh. <laughs> right? Couldn't tell you. Uh, they donated $20, so four tokens. Oh, sorry, my brain's a mess after an episode today, but here is more war aid for you. I know it's going to be tough, and they will be mean and tough, so use these well, Nick. Give them hell. Don't do that, Nick. <laughs> Don't do it more. Don't do it. It's bad. No, Yaman can take it. Bring it on. All right. Don't no. listen to Terrier Mon, Nick. No, Terrier Mon will take it. Terrier Mon, no. Oh, okay, and I guess I met. Wait, how did this work? Because, Chase, know. remember when you messaged me earlier? Yeah. Yeah, and that I was the, the most thing. recent donation. Yeah, it was the most recent donation at the time. Oh. Which, yes, you did say that. Thing. Yeah. Okay. You said so the thing I earlier. You got. They just got it a little early before we officially counted the token that they gave got you okay i was so confused i'm like did it not show up on my screen is that what's going on i'm weird something all right um but token for riot well it can't be for me um so can i deflect it to vanmon sure because you can't fill up anymore so how many is that for vanmon just one, one. just one okay <laughs> Thank right. you. And uh, I will. Yeah, I can guess through these last ones. I'll just try and go really quick. Alrighty. Um, next up, uh, one token, five dollars. Uh, Cole McCarthy, five dollars for smashing the boulder, which will go to the van. But beware, if you if the Crash Bandicoot games have taught us anything, it's usually. Just a matter of time until a second one rears its head. <laughs> so it's I'm fine. Not that, not that cruel, guys. You're out of the sewers. Where would I throw another boulder at you? 
Listen, we're playing by Death Star rules. There's two big spheres out there. <laughs> Look, there's a reason rocks fall, party dies is a meme. <laughs> Uh, Look, I, I I had to throw some pretty you know classic traps at you guys. I thought it'd honestly, be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. just imagining the city planner just being like, "Now put the dart trap right here by the fake ladder, and then we're gonna put the boulder trap over here, and this will help with the flow of sewage." By the way, I should mention uh, the trap that Wizardmon disarmed would have been the flooding. It would have been like so that would have yes. been very fun for uh, for anyone who can't swim. <laughs> I just want to say, OSHA is going to have a field day with this entire city. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to send a very strongly worded email to OSHA. <laughs> so this actually well, scared yeah. me, this donation. Yeah, yeah no, I know. I, I, I agree. I agree, because I also read it. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. So uh, our friend O Topher Bell um, popped oh, no. in for a moment. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh, what did, what they, did they said, do? Uh, wish I could actually be here, but it's hard to find time to listen in prison. But what? I've been able to find time to log in to donate. Hope this does something useful, question mark. Also, I work in a prison. I am not in prison. Just feels like it. <laughs> LOL. It's, oh my it's god. Like, god. It's that just like our friend Yusuf, Yusuf, who works at a hospital. <laughs> oh. like, hey, I'm in the hospital <laughs> right now. Uh, yeah, what? No, Let's no, go. no, I worked there. Well, well, uh, that was a start, journey. Do I need to start making that joke with you guys? <laughs> right. <laughs> Honestly. I send I send Nick EMT videos oh, by all the, way, the time. By the way, it, that, I hate uh, that they're so accurate. $90, so uh, dividing... That's 18 tokens. 18 tokens, okay. And, and I'm already full, going to so wear? it's amongst you guys. Uh, to be fair, it says, give one to each player and the rest to Van Mon. Ah, I see. As oh, the next donation specifies. <laughs> oh, why? Well, so okay, everybody so take... It's technically 19 tokens, then, with that one. Is it 19 tokens? Yeah, because yeah, they gave another the five to specify. And it's also a $5 right there. Ah, I see. So it's 19 tokens. So everybody gets one, except for, for Riot. Yep. And then the rest go to Vanmon. All right, so that's 15 tokens going to Vanmon. God damn. Oh, damn. man. I'm so happy he's finally getting something. <laughs> Thank God. Vanmon was going to starve. Exactly. Next up, we've got RadDJ1201, and they donated $10 and said, share with who needs it the most. Humble Life donating to the DigiCause. Uh brings back good old Digimon memories. Uh, so who needs aw. it the most? Vanmon, Grim. obviously. <laughs> Poor Let's unfortunate see. Grim. Uh, Wait, what? So I don't sad. get any? No, no, you know, it's saying the this is tokens given to who has the least, essentially. I have uh, seven. I have eight. <laughs> Gary's got 12. Uh, I have... Uh, 13. So, and Ed, how many tokens was it? was two. 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 Very well. Uh, now two. I have the least. <laughs> oh, damn it. Paradox. And lastly, uh, no name on this, but it's a $110.55. It's our same friend who donated a Mountain Canadian earlier. Uh, we still don't know who you are, friend. Mysterious. It, it came through Zero. as the SLID error code thing, which is like your unique Streamlabs ID. Uh, so we don't know what your name is, but thank you so much. Thank we you, for you. you. It is for Vanmon and to get to level three. So they took us over uh, to getting to see it all. So everyone thank unknown entity. Thank you, friend thank from you, America's Eldritch hats. Thank you, Eldritch Being. All Thank right, you, so Mysterious Being, for allowing me to share the first minute and a half of Digimon Tabers. So that is now 22 tokens that go to Vanmon, and we are getting ever closer to uh, another goal, the stretch goal for Vanmon. Oh my god. Reminder, if we make it to level 5, you guys are going to be seeing like the first three and a half minutes. 
But Don't with that, uh, we've finished out all the donations that are here right now. Um, the next read-off would be at the end of game, uh, and that'll decide for us if we are showing any more of it. We'll, we'll find out what happens. And all exactly. of the, the points from that would take effect in next game and whatnot. Correct. Uh, but with that, hey, we'll be heading back into game, which means no interaction with chat, just so you guys know. You know the drill. Uh, let anybody know if they have questions or trying to reach out to us directly. It's nothing against them. We just keep the immersion during uh, non-breaks. Stinky. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, for now, if we'd like to go ahead and make our way back to game screen, let me go ahead and change over the music again. Making our way back to game. <laughs> Dokugoi enchanting place. So, the lot of you make your way through the crowd, standing outside of the tower proper, and you can see that this place is pretty dang barricaded, and there is a monitor board, like a uh, like a ticker tape board, and a scrolling across the top of the entrance uh, that states, City currently under lockdown. Please return to your homes. And a lot of Digimon are very upset by this. A lot of them are very much so voicing complaints. You can see that the front of the, uh, of some of the doors, there's a bit of like some marks of like damage, scuff marks, some things that are slightly dent, not very. But you can see that people have tried to hit the doors to no avail. Well, it says to go home, and this is where we live. <laughs> That's true. Goggles up, laptops open. I'm hacking the door. Yeah, you, you... Do that. Um, go. <laughs> is the van around? Yeah, what's yeah, going Christian, on with that? You, Christian, you want to check out the van first, right? Yeah, yeah. You all yeah. look around, and you remember where you parked the van. It's not there. Did we usually get a freaking toad? They took the van. Uh... It's in a death trap. Who took my van? Are there any tire tracks or anything? Nope. As far as you can see, the spot where you had parked the van, uh, you recall where it was, because, I mean, obviously there's no, like, meters or like parking areas for cars in this city but you know full well that you're like oh i could park wherever we wanted and we didn't get towed before so clearly this isn't going to be a problem and there are no marks that see that the van was like dragged there's no tire tracks or anything along those lines because again you're on a street and it's very hard to determine tire marks on asphalt or so the equivalent. clearly something picked it up and carried it of course I as don't want to fake immersion, but chat must be so mad right now. <laughs> I'm going back to hacking. So, uh, if anyone Grayson, needs me, just punch me in the back of the head. You like pull up your goggles, and it's not as thick as when you had been scanning CJ's office, but the plating outside of the tower itself is pretty darn dense. And you can definitely see from the markings that some of the Digimon have made around the area that people really kind of put their back into it to really no avail. And attempting to connect to the tower proper, you're not in the tower. You don't have access to its immediate uh, communications. Mm -hmm. And due to the shield plating, there's nowhere you could attempt to USB into this place. Right. So the only thing that you have files on are everything that you've looked up up till this point. So what are we thinking, guys? I'm thinking I think I should go to Toy Agamon's junkyard and see if I can find a better hammer. Because this ain't going to crack it to get through it, but maybe a freaking sledgehammer or something might. I mean, I don't mean to sound insensitive to the idea, but I, we might have five 
better offensive options. Yeah, yeah. but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You, no matter what hammer you're wielding, is not going to get through this. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. <laughs> you are not strong enough to get through this. Who, so who's saying this right now? Grayson. <laughs> okay. F Flamemon, back me up. We're on the same level, right? Dude, I mean, Digimon are attacking the wall and they're not bursting through. Are Digimon are stronger than us physically? No, 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 no. Those are weaker Digimon than Flamemon. I'm talking about, like... Yeah, I got this. I Flamemon punches the wall. Go ahead and just roll me a fight check. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. You impact your fist into the door. Your fl your fist is a flame, and as you pull back, you can see that there is like scuff and scorch marks. You can feel the ringing in your fist, but otherwise there is no damage to the exterior. Yeah, I just need to hit with a few more of those. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, A pitiful give... display. Let me show you how it's done. And Duskmon's gonna give it a shot. And Go ahead and roll a fight check. Duskmon rolls exactly <laughs> the same number. So Which is exactly, exactly what I was, I was hoping for lower. <laughs> <laughs> Duskmon, you go ahead and you attempt a swirling <clears throat> slash in like a cross form into the barricade. And you can see that some Digimon are beginning to kind of like disperse to give you guys a little bit of room to your attacks. And much the same with Flame Mon's dent and like slight scuffing. You can see that there's like scratches on the door now from your blades, but no indentations. Can... <laughs> yeah, not super easy, is it? Can Magimon try and just open a portal no. as if the wall doesn't exist? No, he can't because he's Wizard Mon. What? Did I say Magimon? Fudge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can and Wizardmon one... try and open a portal as if the wall didn't exist? Uh, go ahead and roll me a charm check. Okay. Hey, wait, I want to do this right. Okay, I am late. Please don't roll one. Charm check. Hey, maker. Hey, maker. Hey, maker. Well, let's hey, go maker. for another 13. Oh, we oh. so you know that's a 13. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. okay, so hey. you go ahead and you put your hand out and you can see a swirling kind of purplish vortex and you're like, easy. And you walk forward and you smash your face into the iron door. So, Tyrion and Grayson scout out vents. We scout out the vents when we're in the kitchen. Do I see any vents on the exterior? If, I'd say go ahead and give me... I guess we'll say a brain check to see if you can spot it. I'll Grayson, set the DC to 10. Is this Terriamon and or Grayson? Who is making the check to find the vents? Grayson, help me. I will assist. <laughs> with Very my... well, go ahead and roll a brains check then. DC is 10. Wow, it oh. looks crazy. These... <sighs> so you cut out what? Do... I'm not going to add tokens to this. That's fine. Looking around the exterior, if there were vents, do you really think they wouldn't also be covered by this intensive heavy metal that's going on? And even if they were available, they probably wouldn't be at ground level. Wizardmon, can you teleport can you teleport us to the top of the building? Well, it does have to be live sight. Can? Okay, wait. I know... No, that was the limitation that was said, right? It does have to be line of sight? It is line of sight. <laughs> okay. Mm, so, you, you could get up to the top of the tower, but you wouldn't be on ground. Okay. So you'd come plummeting right back. I'm just trying to figure out all options. Wait, I'm going to do something kind of silly. Can I try the hotel key? Uh, sure, you go ahead and you have the hotel key out, and you... How are you, like, trying to do it? Are you, like, trying to, like, scan it across the door, or, like, push it into something that's not there, or what are you doing? 
Yeah, like, is there, like, a, a card? What kind of key is it? Just, like, a card reader? It would be, yeah, it'd be kind of like a card key, but uh, there is nothing right. to, like, push it into. So, like, try the best you could probably do is, like, wave it around and be, like, hope it works. All right, I tried that. I, I tap it on the door. It makes a nice little ting-ting. Hmm. I'm going to email Solomon. <laughs> Riot, riots, like, while they're all busy with trying things that he's pretty certain aren't going to work, he wants to head over to Toy Agamon's place and see if either find a, that, a sledgehammer or some other tool he might have, he might let him use to get in here. Fair enough. I, I don't so, know if that's a good idea. Before we get to that, Grayson, yes. you are in the middle of typing your email to sell him. Riot, mm -hmm. you begin kind of dispersing the crowd a little bit, kind of trying to just like walk your way over towards Toy Agumon's shop. Until you all hear a sound that is equivalent to screeching tires. And you all kind of turn like, what in the... And you hear in the distance... And I love it. Speeding down the road. No. You see Digimon move out of the way as quick as they can. You see the van plodding its way down at ramming speed. No. Here we have on pulse racing out of the way. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Gary, right. you see your van screeching down the road. Someone stole the van? And they changed what the horn sounds like? <laughs> I thought you had the keys! I, I, I didn't have the keys, Ryan had the keys! Am I gonna, am I to assume considering I walked off from the bunch, I am right I in traffic? Yo was stopping you. Was he? Yeah, I was saying, I was trying to stop like, hey, that's not a good idea. With the city's on lockdown, we might be in danger, let's not split up. And as you dive out of the road, and everyone else disperses, you Ugh. hear a crash that shakes the city. Oh no. And as the dust settles, you all look, and you see the concierge desk from the giant hole that was made into the entranceway. And you see the van impacted into the wall. Man, that'll buff out, right? My van! Oh, that's... Oh, no. Grayson uh. steps over the debris and into the concierge desk and just rings the bell. <laughs> you ring the bell. No one arrives. I leave her notes. <laughs> Criticizing the terrible service. <laughs> uh, is there not? Okay. Go, go check the van. I don't yeah, guys, look. We should stick together, so let's all go in. Again, uh, watch out for traps. All of the Digimon that are really kind of big hole. <laughs> all of the Digimon crowding around the area are too stunned by what just happened to even begin moving. Their anger is more replaced with what the hell just happened. Are, and a lot of you step through the threshold into the tower proper. Are the back doors of the van closed or open at this moment? They are closed. Line of sight. If he can see through the glass, can he teleport into it? I'm going to say because it's not open, uh, I'm going to say no. Okay. So, But you can teleport to the van proper. Okay, I would like to do that as wizard mon and basically just officer style teleport right by the window of the front driver's seat <laughs> do you have any idea how fast you're going so the front driver's seat as far as you can tell is embedded into the wall the front part of the vehicle is embedded into the wall of the concierge area the only area that can be accessed of the van right now are the sliding doors to the side and the rear um, I like to think that it was almost like just like six steps away from the van, but just like teleport because it was like easier. 
can he teleport to the back of the van and open one of the doors? Sure enough, you open one of the doors and a lot of the boxes that Gary has are scattered about. A lot of things been spilled. The data reorganizer is on its side. Ooh. But looking inside the van, you find no evidence of a driver. Oh my god, it was a ghost. Digimon Ghost Game is real, y'all. Oh! Can Grayson, uh... Oh, go is ahead. that a broken coffee maker? You don't know what that is. <laughs> no, sorry, I, thought, I was joking. That was Wizardmon. Sorry. Uh, fucking no, that breaks was, that character was one. No. From, like, he yeah. just saw shit tumble out of there. Yeah. Can, uh, it might have been working before my van crashed into an armored hotel! I mean, it looks pretty good for being crashed. The, the taking van a look, the coffee actually, maker. Taking a look, Gary, upon further examination, you would think that your van would have been totaled. It ran into something that clearly couldn't be taken down by essentially everyone who tried to take care of that door. I mean, it survived but the flame on. Upon further inspection, None of the tires are popped. The paint is certainly scratched. A lot of it is, especially from the impact of it. But all in all, the doors still work. Everything seems like you, you grab the keys from Riot and make your way to the front. And if you turn the, put the keys into the ignition, it will turn on the dash. Like everything lights up. Which I'm feels gonna, weird that this thing yeah. just crashed into the side, and it seems like it could drive this off. No structural damage. We, Actually, no like, structural damage. This is impossible. There is no way that this happened this way. This maybe, is magic. This is magic. On, there are wizards, maybe. obviously. Obviously wizards. This was magic. I'm just saying, maybe Riot, maybe Riot is a really good mechanic. Look, I'm man. going to write the uh, my opinion. data reorganizer and try to access it. My opinion as a mechanic right now is that this thing is built for and tough. <laughs> it's a Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Grayson. And I wanted to do the joke anyway, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, can I access the data reorganizer? Sure enough, you attempt to write it. It's it's a heavy piece of machinery, to say the least, but it lands no, with a thud it. and kind of shakes the van. You push the button on the front to activate it, and at first it kind of, like, is a little clunky, and it, like, tries to open but recloses, uh, until eventually it writes itself in its positioning, and the data reorganizer opens. Cool. Uh, when we use our healing chips, do the, does the chip just go away, or is the I can leave behind an empty husk? It is used up. Okay. So all of your status chips, those are gone. Okay. Like they, the like ones that you use. Yeah, like essentially they're used yeah. up. So. Well, okay. like, are they used up or do they disappear? Like, yeah, they disappear essentially. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. So it's not. It doesn't leave behind an empty whatever. It it is yeah. like you you plop the chip onto your Digimon and it essentially enters your Digimon to do its effect. Cool, 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 cool. Grayson is download going... more RAM. <laughs> I'm going to pump 200 bits into it to try a test. What are you attempting to make? I want to make a combat ship. I wanna, I wanna try to digimodify, as it were, and create. A chip that can boost Terriamon speed. Because that's right. that he mainly uses to attack. Alright. I would say you will need to make me a brains check. Because you were doing this for the first time and you have roughly no idea what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say I have to set the DC to 15 for the brains check. And does my skilled with computers apply to this or no? I'm going to say no, because even though this is like a technological thing, 
you've only really messed with it once or twice. And it's really been Riot that has been doing a lot more of the experimentation with this thing. Eighteen. So, sure enough, you funnel the bits into the data reorganizer. You kind of put in a rough idea via your entering of instructions into the data reorganizer inside. It rumbles about. And with a bing, the data reorganizer opens up. And sitting inside that nice little orb, you see a chip almost similar to the one that was given to Monodramon from the Vimon headbutt contest. However, you notice in the middle an exceedingly large crack. This thing can be used in a similar fashion to the way the chip was used by Monodramon, but it is unstable. It may not last for a very long time. Okay, so it's not a permanent buff. It's more of a till end of round or end of combat Grayson does not know how long yes so currently you can add a speed booster chip or or, sorry a flight booster chip to your inventory it is going to be for one roll you can add plus three to a flight roll for your Digimon partner it is a one time use since Grayson reminded me of something with that um Riot would like to try something with the diary organizer right quick, too. You were certainly allowed to do so. Uh, go right ahead. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yes, buddy. Oh, okay. So, previously in game, I think I mentioned that, and so this kind of establishes that it is something amongst the stuff in the back of a van. An older, heavy like used broken muffler yeah that's still in there okay so uh riot wants to take that as material and uh and his long handle light hammer uh 400 bits and the one flight augment chip and throw them in there and see what happens Wait, you had a one flight augment chip? Yes, and like, I'm like, curious permanent... to see what happens when you try and combine it with an item. You you had a permanent plus one boost chip, and okay. <laughs> I mean, All the right. only way we learn is if we try. Okay. <laughs> so, you're putting in a lot of resources. So, for that purpose, and you're really just hoping something comes out. Unfortunately, I am going to need you to roll me a brains check to see if this works. And because of the magnitude of what you've put in, the DC will be 20. Oh, this will be your roll alone. Oh, God. Well, can I adjust before I do this? Would if you would it? What are you? What would you like to do? (laughs) I'm back. What I missed. Okay. (laughs) Would it be easier, so if I take out the flight augment chip, does it create make it easier to accomplish? Taking out the flight augment chip, I am going to lower the DC to 18. Because you're using a lot of materials. It's not really so much what materials you're using, it's you're putting a huge investment into this thing and hoping it pays off without really having a direction of where you're going. So I know where that's I'm why going. it's going to be He's trying to make basically a stronger hammer, like a, a, a like equivalent to like a sledgehammer or something, a more powerful hammer. All right. <clears throat> uh, DC will still be 18 in a brain check. Brains. I have a D6. I don't even know. Just got to explode three times consecutively. You're fine. I'll take I'll, I will take the the augment chip out of the mix. I will still spend the 400 bits and the the long hammer and that muffler. We'll give it a shot. Alrighty, DC's 18. Come on, come on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I don't believe you have enough, even if you capped. <laughs> so. I do. I do have enough if I fucking put points towards it. But before I even try that, I have a question. What is your question? It'll be the 17 if you're capped. Yeah. What? Math don't math. DC's 18. Oh, yeah, that's, you... that's right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, do I lose the hammer altogether for failing this? So, you put all of the materials in. The muffler, the hammer, and all of the bits. And you press enter on the data reorganizer. You've never seen the da data reorganizer chug before. <laughs> It is the equivalent of hearing a trash compactor full of aluminum cans, is what the sound is. Until eventually, what comes out, or rather what is spit out, is the hammer in a, albeit smaller form. It is no longer like the long jack handle that you had before. It is now equivalent to like a light hammer that you could hold with one hand. So the handle is shortened down. The muffler's gone. And your Digivice has returned 150 bits. Cool. So in total, I now have 200 bits because I didn't I'm just, spend... I'm expecting, I'm expecting the hammer to be exactly the same, other than now when you hit things, it's not as loud. <laughs> But yeah, again, the hammer is not, like, the long jack handle. It's now the equivalent of, like, if you were holding a regular, like, ball-peen hammer in your hand. But it still has the heavy head. But now it's more precise. <clears throat> it's Mjolnir-shaped. It exactly. is very Mjolnir-shaped. <laughs> and, it, and it doesn't wait for you to pull the hammer out. It actually spits it out of the orb and just <laughs> lands on the side. <laughs> While uh, while everybody's been uh, looking at the data reorganizer, uh, Gary's gonna look around the lobby and like the first floor of the hotel and see if anyone is present or if any like normal functions of the hotel have been going on, like any staff or anything like that. Y'all would join you in that. Fair enough. Looking around, uh, it is a ghost town. You see no Digimon that are working in any areas. There are no guests in the lobby. It is vacant. Looking at the concierge desk, where the, where the computer would be that Salomon would have been sitting at is what was rammed into by the van. Mm -hmm. There is still another computer because there's enough space in the concierge for multiple people to be there. That computer is undamaged. However, again, that desk, about half of it got destroyed from the van's mm -hmm. <laughs> breakthrough. Excuse me, you mean Salomon is not still scrolling as per Gary's no. instructions? Salomon as far as you know, is... Salomon is a stain. Salomon oh. has been embedded into the wall. <laughs> as far uh, as you know. So you're saying and he was uh, still a... counting. <laughs> so <laughs> as well as make sure I understand this, there's a computer at the concierge desk that is unmanned? Yes. Do, 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 do. Let's see what triggered this shutdown. Real quick, while he's, while, doing he's that, doing, I... while he's doing that, I wanted to see if I could reverse the van out of the wall. And I, just wanna... embedded. and I just want to click the elevator just to see if power's working to the elevator. All right, here you go ahead and you click the elevator button. Uh, the, the button lights up when you push it in, but as you pull your finger back, it dims. Right, you hear no elevators. movement or rattling from the elevators. Gotcha. Uh... Grayson, you attempt to look at the terminal here, and you are reminded very, very subtly of the last time you ended up having to break through a firewall, which would have been not the physical one that you dealt with before, but during the mayor's Independence Day speech. All right. This is like a... F this is essentially taking that firewall that you broke through and giving it a multiplicative factor of 2.5. It's strong, and it's a full lockout. 
So as you're trying to like look at a way to break through that, Gary, you start the engine on the van, which starts on the turn of the key. How in the hell? And you hit reverse. And for everyone behind the van, I assume you move out of the way. <laughs> or you, hear flame, you all hear flame on. <laughs> <laughs> Just get run over. <laughs> Ba-doom, ba-doom. Digivolution. Riot, Riot was oh, no. in the van just thinking about, like, the hammer and then kind of got shocked by the... Oh, oh, okay. But you hit reverse, and sure enough, you were able to unembed yourself out of the wall. A lot of the paint on the van has been scraped and scratched, but overall, that's the only damage you see on the van. Even the headlights are pristine condition. These things are made out of plastic! How did they survive the the steel wall? Is this thing made out of chrome digizoid? What is that? It is the most strongest and most rare material in the digital world. So what other kind of metals exist in the digital world? Just that. Then I'm gonna say no. I think it's made out of aluminum. Guys, bad news. Mm. I can't get into the system. Even control alt delete doesn't work. <laughs> Damn. But uh Gary, I'd actually like you to roll me a uh I'm gonna say a grit check for this one because of your connection with the van. I'm gonna set the DC to like I'm gonna set it to five. Oh boy, that's achievable. <laughs> I achieve it! Hey! I achieve it! After you back the van out of the wall and you kind of close the door to kind of give a general inspection over everything. You've been with this van for years. You've seen it in its height when your father was using it for the campaign trail, and you've taken care of it as best you can when it was finally passed down to you. You've seen every scuff, scratch, and mark this thing has gone through, and every time you've had to bring it to repairs in some way, shape, or form. And you very thoroughly remember the damage that it sustained during the fight with the firewall. That's gone. This Who's... van, aside from the paint job scratching, looks pristine. Who stole and then repaired my van? What good Samaritan and also monster truck driver stole this van and ran it into the hotel? And how much do I owe them for the body job they did? Can you all look into the hole that Venmon made just to see if, like, he saw anyone who could have potentially gotten out of the driver's side door? Because you said the entire thing was pushed all the way through the wall. It was, and after Gary backed it out, sure enough, you can see that there is a pretty sizable divot where the van had made its way into. A good at least uh, four feet or so, which is about the length of, like, the front of the van past the driver's side door. But, uh, you don't see anything that looks like someone had dug their way out, you don't see any footprints, you don't see anything other okay. than, like, the just so, general destruction that the so van he, has brought with it. So he didn't, it, it didn't plow through the wall into another, into, like, another section? Not as far, as far as you're aware, it rammed itself into, like, a support wall. Okay. And that's where it stopped. So not deep enough where it broke through to, like, the kitchen or something. Correct. Riot, oh, okay, just, I, I'm, I misunderstood. Riot would like to, from hearing Gary basically wailing in confusion, go, okay, I'm gonna just go around to the front and pop the hood and check the engine. Sure enough, you go ahead and pop the hood, and... Riot, you've worked on this van. You've thoroughly worked on this van a good number of times from all of the, uh, the few repairs that you've given for Gary. And you know how dusty and how rough and how sputtering that engine is. In the time you've been gone, supposedly, aside from the incredible repair job that's been done to the exterior, they've polished the chrome on the engine. There isn't a speck of dust or oil that is out of place. 
It almost looks like someone dropped a brand new engine into this thing. Riot wants to inspect that data siphon that was added. All right, Tailmon will do it. I'll inspect the Family Guy Season 3, Volume 3 DVD. Is it still scratched? You find that one episode where they moved to the south and Chris thought that that one girl was a guy for an episode. And that was because they were in witness protection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure enough, you find where the DVD case is, which is stored in the glove compartment. The CDs are as they were before. Dang There's it. still scratch marks on them. The DVDs Trust have it. turned... Uh, wait, so you're telling me the DVDs have turned into CDs? <laughs> they downgraded. They downgraded. No, the, the DVDs are fine. As they were, uh, essentially, in their previous form. Uh, thank but, God. Right, you make your way over to the gas canister, which is where it was installed for the Datamon pl placed it. And sure enough, you open the, uh, the side where the gas tank is. And as far as you can see, it looks like a perfectly normal, albeit shiny and pristine, place where you would put gas in the van. I can't explain this. I mean, it's not like I thought heavily I'd be able to, but like, none of this makes sense, man. Yeah, obviously. Uh, Grayson. Yes. I would like you to roll me a brains check. The DC will be 14 for your hacking, and this will determine which potential route you are going uh, depending on how successful you are. Well, 18 again. I will say you can add your, your bonus to this one. Yes, I did. Be, be, that is with the bonus? That is with bonus. That's with your plus three for tech? Plus three? I thought it was plus one. Your skilled at, it's plus three. Your, your skilled at ability is what I'm referring to. Oh, right. I was forgetting that. So Ooh, that's what I. Yeah. So re re recall, any brains roll, you have that plus one because that's your stat bonus. The uh, skill that is uh, for specific skill related things. So, guys, crazy. It says plus 23, it's 21 now. So, God damn. you are it's able to break through the firewall and you find that there are only two options available to you. You're only able to get so far. The first option is unlocking a door, and the second option is reactivating the elevators. Can you both, or only one or the other? It's giving you a choice. Do I know where the door is? You do not. Well, there's not a lot we can do from just down here, so I'm enabling the elevators. Sure enough, you on the button to enable the elevators, the firewall restructures itself and kicks you back out. And okay. ER, you're standing over nearby where the elevators were and you hear a ping and the doors open. Oh, Tia. Okay. What's the plan? I mean, there's not a lot we can do from down here. I, um... I, feel like, I, I'm, I, I know, but what is our plan? We just go up to CEO Gigi Mon's office and just what? Ask him what the hell's going on. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to him. I want to turn on the terminal and leave. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm not going to go down the rabbit down. hole again, I swear, but I will say something here. I've seen enough movies to know that maybe we don't want to get into the elevator when everything else has been booby-trapped. You really, you really got to stop basing your stuff off of TVs and movies, man. We almost got Indiana Jones, dude. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I, I don't want to go in the in, in that elevator thing. I really Did don't. Did I see any traps when I was scoping around? You as far as you can tell, it's an elevator. It can fall out of the sky, dude. Can, That's can you not know helping you know? me. <laughs> what are our options? Stairs. Where are, are those? I mean, generally, they're... in a hotel, they're at the end of either hall. 
there was a door that could lead to the stairs <laughs> that is currently locked. I didn't know that that's where the door was or that's where it led to. I only had the information that I had on hand. Nick, I have a question. I might have an answer. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna DM you. I'm gonna ask about that. Real quick, sure. Real quick. Go right ahead. I am happy to answer any questions you've got for me. While well, a lot of you figure out what it is you're trying to do. Can um can Rai look inside the elevator and try and perception check if there's like a emergency hatch at the top of there or something? At the top of the elevator? Yes. Uh, sure enough, you can go ahead and uh, do so. Uh, you get Flame Mon's help, who's kind of still posted up on your shoulders. And there is a hatch that leads to the top of the elevator. And when you open it, it leads into the elevator shaft proper. Guys, I'm, I'm not asking, like, how we get up. I'm asking, what we do? Like, what's the objective here? The terminal entrance is in... CEO Gigimon's office. We have to go through there in order to access it. Ugh. The only. What do, do, what do we do if he's there waiting for us? The only thing we can do confront him about what's going on, figure out if we can solve this peacefully. I'd rather avoid a fight if possible, but that may not be up to us entirely. I'm just, I'm just tired. Riot wants to, uh, with Flame on, climb up into the, the shaft right quick and look at the top of the elevator and expect, inspect if there's anything there, like something that would cut the line or some kind of a trap on it. Flamon uh, lights up his hand to give you some uh, lighting. All right, I would say go ahead and give me a brains check. I'll set the DC to five. Okay. We've been through a lot. <laughs> the PTSD is real, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Lina, what do you think? Oh, I'm not sure. No. Come on. I will pay money to do that one. You'll pay <laughs> your tokens. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it no, pay real physical monies. <laughs> so, uh, you go ahead and you, using the light from Flame Mon's hand, you look around the area and you're not exactly an expert when it comes to the construction and mechanics of an elevator. You've mo mostly worked on cars, but you do understand at the very least, you know, what would be a spring-loaded idea for a mechanism in some way. And looking around, you see nothing around the cables themselves that are, that would cut it. You see nothing that would be around the elevator that would cause it to plummet. If anything, you see what appears to be on the sides of the elevator, uh, primed and loaded, are these heavy kind of rectangular bricks of metal that could be used to slow a descent should the elevator drop. Hmm. Okay. Looks safe to me. Seems like this is safe and standard enough for a elevator. Do you hear that, Marjamon? It's safe. You okay with maybe one, just one ride? <laughs> No, I don't know. I promise we can take the stairs down. Fine. The last time. And then I'm not doing it anymore. Okay? I promise. I'll hold you to it. Alright. So, what do, what do you think, Gary? Uh, I think the door is open. <laughs> you look over and you see that Gary has in his hands a set of lock No, I'm, no, I'm going to put those away. 
and put those away he real slowly quick. puts away into his coat pocket <laughs> mm, and prepared. you see that the door <clears throat> to the stairs is indeed available good news Majman. i uh, don't have to <laughs> wait we're not going up on the the death the death trap nah we don't we, we can ignore the death door oh oh thank goodness you know if that's the case i might you guys go that way we can actually climb up the shaft here via the escape ladder why you I'm not, you do no that? no yeah you want to climb up over like 50 floors also no we're not leaving you alone also what if somebody calls the elevator oh well uh, okay fair enough i figured <laughs> if we try and like pincer him or something i guess so that. quick pause i'm just imagining right now riot attempting to do this and all i'm hearing is snake eater playing in the background <laughs> <laughs> what a thrill <laughs> What a thrill. <laughs> you get to floor 30 and you're just fucking panting. <laughs> <laughs> what a thrill! <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are deciding to take the stairs instead. All right. Yeah. Okay. How many floors were there again? A lot. Yeah, okay. It's fine. You guys have seen that uh, that scene in uh, in FF7 Remake, right? You know, the one where instead of taking the elevator, they take the stairs and they start getting delirious and trying to see who gets up the fastest. That is the equivalent of a scene that happens right now, is the lot mm. of you make your way up. Wizard By Mon... 420... <laughs> Wizard Mon is uh, just kind of levitating at the side of Gary as he walks up. Kariamon is riding on Grayson's head. Grayson is pulling up the rail. <laughs> By floor 20, your legs are starting to burn. Mm. Flame like, yeah! Come on, guys! Get the burn! We got this! Uh, Monitor, mind anytime you want to change your mind about that elevator, anytime is fine. It's all good. No? By okay, floor yeah, 35, <laughs> Grayson, you have to take Terry Mon off your head because the weight is too much. <laughs> I'm not Flame that on. happy. Flame Mon has lost his enthusiasm. Wizard Mon, you've been floating the entire time, and that's taken up some energy, so you've decided to walk alongside Gary mm -hmm. in order to help save some level of energy for what might be coming. Flame Mon, you have to hop of, off of Riot's back by floor 30. Oh, I assume how heavy oh, I assume Flame Mon was already walking. I, I, I needed to clarify, because as far as yeah. I was told, you were still monkeying around. <laughs> Oh no no no! Wizard after uh, yeah, after the van, the uh, coming out from the sewers, he was walking. Fair. I got over by the by the van. Yes, you did. <laughs> Wizard Mon takes every stair one at a time to conserve energy. <laughs> He'll always have both feet on one stair before he goes up to the next one. Flame on is right behind you on the step behind. Come on. <laughs> Gary is mostly Dude. using his arms to, to climb at this point because his legs are his legs are shot. Terry Mon attempts to hide and use and now it attempts to ride Duskmon. Riot takes <laughs> off his boots and hangs them behind his back so he can freaking walk a little bit less heavily encumbered. Dustmon so, has to ascend the stairs on his at his side, like sideways, because his feet are too long for the steps. Hey guys, would you be surprised if I told you I did be evil to hide in the computer lab? I'm having a good time. This is a good workout. Of course. So, oh, so letting happy you all know for you. the current order, because I, I am going based off of Braun. ER's in the lead. Yeah. Wow. It is currently a tie with both Reiner and Riot in second place. <laughs> Bringing up fourth is Grayson, oh, and wow. in the rear is Gary. <laughs> oh, surprised. no. Not surprised. So that is the, the walking order for all of you at the very least. <laughs> I want to say a total surprised. of an hour and a half passes of climbing Ooh. stairs. It is painful. It is a workout and then some. Any extra layers are most likely shed at this point. 
Jackets, coats, though they don't they are not helpful right now. Now is not a good time to reveal that EO is not wearing a shirt underneath his hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Now I I'm know kidding. you all might be a little ticked at me because I was the one who suggested more of the stairs, but I would like to point out Gary unlocked it. <laughs> Energy Grayson for uh, anger. God. Ryan, I, I want you to know, you see Grayson out of breath stumble over and you just feel <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I actually explode. You like fuck? put your fucking body weight into it on accident. <laughs> you fall you, into you trip it. and Ryan tumble into Ryan. And falls back a few stairs and catches himself on the railing. Bro, what the <laughs> Sorry, sorry, it was meant to be, like, not that serious. Oh, man, I, I, I'm a lightweight. I, I thought you could take us. Sorry, 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 sorry. Balance is at a minimum, my dude. Balance is at a minimum. <laughs> sorry. I, 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 I... To the top of the stairs, there is a door there we go. that okay. you can push open. Oh, did oh did connection die for me? Yeah, uh, it um, might have been. I am so sorry to ask house, this, actually. but can you repeat, like, the last... Four, five, six, seven seconds of things. So I said that ER had made his way to the top and Woo! was waiting for everyone else and saw everyone very much struggling. ER, you've definitely broken a sweat from this. Oh like you're you're very you're pretty tired on this end of things, but you you've survived things that have been that have wrecked your body worse. Oh. Yes. So, uh, I sent you a message. Yep, got you. Yeah, oh, the same one that the rest of us sent. Internet straight up went out, and I was very scared because no, I no, no, uh, the uh, and the I sent did. you a message. The, 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 the chat, they, they can't see the rolls. It could be a fun Discord problem, also. But sure enough, the lot of you eventually make it to the top of the stairs, and there is a push door. Alrighty. So you guys want to take like a. Five, fifteen. <laughs> I'll okay, day. All right, gotcha. <sighs> so, got enough sure. left in me to keep going. <laughs> yeah, let's just. Wait, come on. I need you to reach into your magic hat and pull me out some water because I am going to die. Uh <laughs> Wizard How Mons, are you feeling, Large Mon? <laughs> Wizard Mon's going to reach into his hat. Which he rarely does, mind you. Now, yeah, now it would be very rare, but you I reach think into you your just hat. Conjure water as Wizard Mon. I think you just like choose to make water without reaching into the hat, but I don't know that for sure. Maybe the I mean, room, motherfucker. <laughs> in the show, there was a whole thing about Godamon giving him water. He was, like, very grateful for that. It's like, oh, oh you saved my life. I swear I'll life debt to you. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, my mouth is made of stitches. So, sure enough, Actually, either... Okay, go ahead. Yeah, what, what, either, what, what, what were you trying to do, exactly? Actually, wait, let's try it this way. He actually does take off the hat, and as he hands the hat to Gary, Gary can notice that the entire hat looks as if it's filled with water. <laughs> I drink from your hat. It is cool and refreshing. <laughs> Grayson out of breath and tired, is going to try to slot, open the door just ajar and try to peek in to see what they might have to look forward to. Fair enough. You peek your head inside, and I'll go ahead and drag everybody over there. And you see that you are in what appears to be, at least to your knowledge, a very large server room. Uh, home. However... You notice that there is at least one individual standing at the far end of the server room. Oh, shoot. Who sees a lot of you enter. Oh, uh, no, back. I was just peeking in. Yeah, no, they, they see you peeking in. They're, they're oh. facing you. Oh. And <laughs> you very thoroughly recognize the individual staring at you with big eyes. Housekeeping. <laughs> Kill it. 
yeah, we have an appointment with CJ. You see Salomon is staring at you as you kind of have the door kind of cracked open. Terrymon, are you back on Grayson's head or are you kind of peeking through Always, the door? Always, absolutely. Well, fair enough. You're on top of his head and you see Salomon looking directly at you. There is no smile on his face. It is a flat line as he looks towards you. Oh, good. You lot have made your appointment. Terrymon jumps down in front of Grayson. Pulling myself to my feet. What's going on? Where's CJ? Just trying to sound more confident and put together than I actually am. The boss is currently preoccupied with other matters. However, my associates and I are more than happy to manage the current situation. Oh, BS. Don't tell me you're the reason we were in those death traps. You see he's going to turn his head to the side a little a little confused before he kind of turns back and lets out a small yip. And from the back end of the room you hear the sound of wings as not one uh. but three angelic figures make their way outside of the towering servers. I would suggest you bring your associates in for a thorough discussion. Grayson holds the door open. Hey guys, we got some bullshit bullshit at foot. Someone's asking for a blast and I'm not in the mood. Yeah. <sighs> What's up, Salomon? What do you want? He all steps into the room. As, uh, is everyone stepping into the room at this point? Raymond steps in. Yep. Wizard Reiner. <laughs> now with the hat back from Gary, is just going to keep with the water in it and start spinning his finger around as if priming the water. Fair enough. Salomon is going to look over the lot of you. Again, that frown kind of stuck on his face. I would like to apologize in advance that I did not meet your request of finishing the calendar. However, another task was much more necessary to complete. And that task was... You see, with his one paw, he's going to poke at the collar around his neck. Do you happen to know what this is? No! We're not Me? Over here! No. It's your collar. This is a holy ring. <laughs> cool. It is given to Digimon that are... blessed by God. Huh? The Judeo Christian God. So and we have received words from the prophets. The prophets? Oh, no. The, uh, that's a play on words, isn't it? You claim to be saviors, the prophets disagree. They say you are false shepherds. Could you do me a favor and spell prophets for me? Because I'm, uh, I don't know which one we're going to have to fight. Is this Wall Street or is this Moses? <laughs> you see Salomon kind of sighs and one of the Angemon makes its way forward. You lot are heretics. You parade around as saviors of this world. And it is up to us to clean up the mess you have made. Whatever. Man, I get enough judgment at home. I don't need the church up my ass, too. 
Listen, yeah. we never claim to be saviors, but we're here to help. If you guys think we're bad for that, shove it. We just want to do what we can. Also, who are your prophets? Can we talk to them? Can I speak to your manager? Gary, must I wait for these ones to finish talking too? No. No, I don't think you have to. Everyone! Well. I don't think we're gonna. I hear that you all think yourself angelic warriors. Then save it. And he's going to fire off the water from his hat in this electrical server room. And Go I'm ahead. gonna... Tayman's also gonna let loose with a Terrio tornado to try and help spread the water around the entire room. Fair enough. Uh, we will say give me a fight check for Wizardmon and give me a flight check for Terriermon. We'll see how well that affects. Grayson dies though on the inside, seeing the silver room go up. <laughs> Hit him All with right, the sprinkler, Jimmy! Was <laughs> <laughs> oh. this oh. count as an attack roll? Flight, this, he said. This is a flight roll for Terriermon, and no, it I is mean, a for... fight roll for Wizardmon. I mean, for innocent eyes. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, this is technically not a combat roll, so no. Okay. You Initiative has not started yet. So. Ugh, what the fuck? Woo! Uh, it is that a, oh, is that an 19 that, that explodes? That explodes. Yeah, it's and a 19 off of 20, 20 so... because he gets plus one to fight. Well, roll again. regardless, you still rolled a 19, so roll the fight again, and we'll add that on top of it. Oh, okay. So that okay. So because that because that explodes as a haymaker. Okay. What the fuck has I'm... been your rolls tonight? Uh, Seriously, Blizzard holy Mon fuck. Is just built different. We went over this. Yeah, we talked about. I know. This. <laughs> Wizard Mon is, a, is an Avengers level threat. We've covered this. So that's uh, <laughs> right, so that is a, a thirty-five. 16. I just had to replace a, a switch at once. No, that uh, that so that plus the... one, by the way, uh, that pyro, that plus one is going to be to the overall roll, not to both of these. Oh, okay. That nineteen is essentially considered. You would have to roll again anyway. So, regardless, <laughs> that is a thirty-five. Uh, go ahead and give me the uh, the flight roll for Terry Mon was five. Okay. Yeah. So. So forty. So when you think about it, a five is weird by itself. <laughs> <laughs> so you set off this blast wave of water. Terriamon, you attempt to spin in the center of it to send it flying all around. And sure enough, it hits all of the servers. And the lights in the room dim. And you see the sparking of the various different rows of servers. Tempest Typhoon. And I will go ahead and for that, we'll say that the head Engemon, who made its way forward, is going to take a point of damage from that. Woo! Before Salomon goes, it is time to purge the False Shepherds. And I'm we're going to go ahead and go into face. initiative. <laughs> Hell Woo! yeah. Light for Grayson. Thank you, Terry and Mom. Oh, damn. Does that include any of Terry and Mom's pluses to flights? No. Yes. I, I, I don't know what to add. So it, this, You're message. both adding your flight rolls to this to add for initiative, so make sure to okay. roll them respect, respectively to yourself and then your Digimon. So That's the Digimon, and here comes me. Uh, well, okay, yeah, so the last one is Riot. Oh, you exploded on that, too. Neat. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, get him. Uh, so, also, I fucked up with the Duskmon roll. It's supposed to be too higher. Fair enough. Uh, be sure to add your uh, add your numbers together for you and your partner, and if you want to put them in the oh. discard, so that way I can make sure to <laughs> keep the initiative order proper. So... Gary and Wizardmon is 14. And yeah, Poimon and Riot is 13. Okay. Uh, do we put him on the roll 20 or the. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah the you, can do it on, you, can, you can do it in the roll 20, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I forget that I forgot that ER gets a plus one to flight, so I'm going to add that to this, so that makes him a 10. Alright.
I've had plus one to charm and I've seldom used it, if ever. <laughs> Why the hell did ER lead the, the one discussion this, se this session? I mean, it was in character. What do you want? Uh, oh my god. Two higher than that, Grim. Oh, okay. god. Because that was the first roll I forgot to add his bonuses to. Flight's All right, a let me good go ahead and roll for combat for our associates here. The guys with wings. Their flight check couldn't possibly be good. D4, surprisingly. Nick, I gotta say, props are making the Angel Digimon somehow <laughs> enemies. That that would be a hard sell. <laughs> the fucking prophet of prophets. Goddamn. <laughs> that was fun. I want that. I wanted so badly to do some kind of one-liner about Christianity, but, like, they're not descriptively Christian. Dude, the, the save the save line? That was good. That was slick. Okay. <laughs> then save it. I was like, mm, fucking... I give that to you. I give that to you. <laughs> so, top of the order is Grayson and Terriermon. What are you doing? I pull out the Digimodified chip that's cracked... Look at Terramon. You want to give it a shot? Let's go. I'm taking out Salamon. Okay. I don't know how long this thing's going to last, so this is make it quick. This is the cutest fight ever. <laughs> it is. It's going to be so adorable. They're going to be, like, biting at each other. It's going to be so sweet. All right. I plug Andromon my chip into my baseball device. swings and cracks Terramon's skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's adorable. <laughs> It's adorable. <laughs> Look at these dogs fighting. My terrier doesn't play well with other dogs. He just says, <laughs> thinking he sounds like a badass, but he doesn't. Throws the chip onto Terrier Mon. So, plus three for his next flight roll. Correct. Bro? So, terrier Mon, what are you doing? Uh, can I use a Terrier Tornado to flight and ram speed straight into Salamon? You are allowed to do that. Go ahead and give me the flight check. I'm going to be rolling a brawn check for Salamon. This is with innocent eyes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, so that's plus four total? Yeah, plus yep. four total. Okay, let's do this. Did you modify? Speed what? activates. Oh. Yes. All right, so... That's ER, but it should say Terriamon. I have to make sure that I do this moving forward, because I forgot about it this time. But I knew how much I'm adding first, then add the rolls on things. But I'm not adding tokens for this, because I forgot to specify in this one. But Salomon got a 15 versus a 22. So, and you are both vaccines and both rookies, so no yeah. bonuses to either side. But you go ahead, you rush down with the Terrier Tornado, and you feel yourself beginning to spin even faster than you've ever been before as you impact into Salomon and send him slamming into one of the broken down servers in the room. And he's going to take a point of damage. Room service! You see, Salomon has no expression on their face. Gary. Oh boy. Well, uh, Wizardmon, I don't know what you're capable of. So let's, uh, figure it out. Uh, I guess hit one of them with something. Same, same guy, maybe? What are you thinking? I think... Yes. Um, Wizard Mon is going to slightly wave his staff a bit, and then all of a sudden an electrical spark will start to form in it, which creates a lightning strike at that same one he hit before. Fair enough. Which I should going... be, I don't know if this will play a factor in it, but last thing he used was water, so I assume... Also, as a reminder, Wismon is a data type. These guys are vaccine. Data beats vaccine. So make sure that you have that bonus on things. So you'll get a plus one to this. So I'm going to first add tokens to this Angemon's brawn defense first. Okay. So I'm going to be spending nine tokens. I'm going to roll right now first to see oh what its brawn is. Oh, oh what I miss? Uh, Angemon's uh, adding like nine tokens to his roll. Fuck you. Oh boy. I know, the Lion, the Witch, and the Audacity of this bitch. 
so I I exploded twice. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> so you have to beat a thirty-four. Oh uh, no, he's got this. That I seems possible. I Wait, make sure to add your one. I have to make be sure a thirty-four. I get with your fight check. <laughs> my fight and you check. You get a plus. Whatever I roll, I get a plus one, and then additionally, because of the uh, type advantage, I get what? An I additional plus one. Okay, so plus two to whatever I roll here. Yes. How you have to be the 34. <laughs> Don't worry, he's been exploding all night. He's got this. <laughs> oh, oh no! That's a seven! Ha. So. You send out this blast of lightning, and the Angemon takes his staff, spins it in a circle in front of him, and the lightning dissipates. It sends some of the lights above you, the kind of linoleum lights, some of them spark and shatter before he brandishes his staff at you. That's you will have concerning. to try harder, heretic. That's concerning. I mean, Gary, he's kind of fighting a Wiccan. Don't do that, I guess. Is that the problem? Or do you need to do that more? No, I mean, I don't... they're showboating. They're, they're showing off. Oh, well, showboat harder, I, I guess. Next up in the order, unless, Gary, you have something you want to do on this turn. It's not a whole lot I can do. Take cover? <laughs> I guess probably, yeah, take a little bit of cover behind some of the servers. Fair enough. <laughs> I know, I forgot to. Uh, <laughs> next up in the order, Riot. Okay. Flame on cracks his neck. I'm going to need to borrow that hammer. Sure. It's a little bit top heavy now, so be ready for that. Also, I'm thinking if you hit light it up, you might be able to just charbroil some wings tonight. You know, I was feeling like I wanted some hot wings. <laughs> and Playmon is going to jump up, carve, and bring the hammer down, screaming, Banzai! All right, so you're, which one are you attacking? The one in the center or left or right? The one that's already damaged. Fair enough. Let me go ahead and spend some tokens here first for the brawn check. Do I have any boosts to fight checks. No, just so make he's going to get okay. a plus one to his roll because it is champion versus rookie. I'm spending right. five tokens, so it's going to be plus six to whatever he rolls right now. Okay. You have to beat a 12. 12. Okay. That's his brawn check. Oh, come on! Any tokens you want to spend on this riot? Uh, if you meet try. it, then it's still defender wins. You'd have to spend like 11. I'm going to say we're going to let this one go. Yeah. Fair enough. So mm -hmm. you ignite the hammer, you bring it down, and this same Angemon <sighs> goes ahead and with a thrust of his staff, impacts you into the stomach <laughs> and sends you reeling backwards, sliding across some of the water that's around the uh, the now pooling area in the server room. Can I just say at least the, some of the water that he lands on steams as he it lands does. on it? Yeah. Your body's, <laughs> your body's got intensive heat, bud. Just want to remind you, uh, Pow, you get another token from that, just like how Gary got one from the previous fail. Got you. Yeah, Next just up in the order. Sure that we the fails. Unless, right, I, you have I anything was... else you want to do. Hmm. How reckless are you feeling, Riot? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a hammer! <laughs> okay. I, n I need to ask a very important question. Are I might we have a very important cool answer. Are we passively saying that, like, before we got in here, he put his boots back on? I'll allow that. I mean, you guys would have been taking some time to get a breather. No. I hope Blow the audience boots. can forgive me for this. Um, Riot is going to run and steel toe punt, punt fucking Salomon in the face. <laughs> All right. Hey, he's go, mine. Ahead, go ahead and roll <laughs> me a fight check. I'm going to spend some tokens first for Salomon. So, Salomon give me a, give, give me a like... second to roll his uh, his brawn check as he's just going to take this. I just really hope Salomon catches the foot like, not today. <laughs> you have to beat a seven. 
And this is my fight. It is a fight. You're trying to kick a dog, my dude. <laughs> I, well, figured I hope that would take stuff. grit. <laughs> Gumption, if you will. All right. Uh, I, ho I hope you feel good about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to kick a puppy? Yeah, you and Mio you Brando in the same club. Pyro, I want you to know, Damn. my dog's what? on my bed right now. What the <laughs> fuck? You know what? I, I'm i gonna do it. One, I get a plus one to that for fight rolls, so that's a four. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spend one, two, three. You have to get an eight. Four. To uh, be getting an eight and kick a puppy. <laughs> sure enough, you run up, steel toe boots, and as... Salomon kind of shakes off the terrier tornado that kind of sent him flying. He looks up and sees a steel-toed boot coming from you, Riot, that impacts into the body, and you hear an ugh as the dog goes flying into the air, almost hits the ceiling, before one of the Angemon kind of catch him. Thank that God said, not making me uh -oh. feel worse by doing an ugh. <laughs> I'm going to say, because of that, Salomon will take another point of damage. I can't wait to make that a short, you monster. <laughs> in the gonna kick... You're not gonna kick a puppy, are you, Riot? Yeah, in the face, why? <laughs> in the back, this hero, Grayson go, Riot, not cool, man. <laughs> he's, he's the enemy. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He doesn't actually say that, though. Okay. Gotcha. So, that is your go. Next up is ER. Uh... And Majumon. Uh, yeah. How, how high do you think you can head, bud? As high as I need to. Let me know if you need to ball the skateboard. Let's do it. All uh, right. Can I launch him with the skateboard at an Anjumon? Uh, sure. Go ahead and give me. We'll say a brawn check. The DC will be ten to just get some momentum going. Uh, this is ER doing the brawn check. This is ER doing the brawn check. Okay, here we go. We got plus one to brawn. You go ahead and with increase, though, you... I'm going to say you don't even really need the skateboard because of the brawn check here. You grab Monodramon by the shoulders and yeet him through the air. <laughs> go, buddy! Monodramon, go ahead and give me a fight check against the central Angemon, if that's who you're aiming for, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. He, he will have a... He's, so give me... Well, before you roll, before you roll, though, I need to add my tokens on things and roll for Angemon. So first, I'm only going to spend a few tokens because of how high you rolled on that, that <laughs> yeet. <laughs> All right, so we're spending three tokens. He gets a plus one because he's champion versus rookie. And we're going to see what the bronze check is for Angemon here. You have to beat a five. Oh. Wait, what? On a fight check. Oh, no man. modifiers, right? Uh, I believe uh, Majumon, I think, has... Let me double check. It's this. just bronze. Uh, no, you're yeah. rolling a fight check for your end. Yeah. But yeah, so... Yeah, but he has oh, a chip. Yeah. No, nah, that's fair. Yeah, the, the the chip is for Braun. So anyway, yeah, <laughs> be a five. we're at full health right now, right? You're at full yeah, health. Bow sense okay. doesn't kick in right now. You impact square into the gut of this Angemon, who drops Salomon, and he takes a point of damage. More that is four. your go as you try to stumble back, Monodramon. It is now going to be the Angemon on the right's turn. Yo, just shrugs at the Salomon, like, eh. Yeah. He's gonna this. go ahead and aim for you, Terriermon. Bring it I'm, on! I'm gonna spend some tokens here. Champion versus rookie, so he's gonna get a plus one to this. I'm spending my tokens here. We'll see what the fight check is. You have to beat a 13. His fight check is 13. Are you doing flight or or brawn? Flight, please. Man. All right. So uh, 13 uh, versus your flight check. Yeah, I can't beat it any other way. 
Well, th that was a long name, but yeah, he beats it. A Pommy almost wants to fail this. Or like, so, try to use Braun. That's you not see, even with, like, I don't have defense and is it not? You see the Angemon yeah. make its way over and try to golf club swing at you, Terriermon, but you, using your ears, spin and fly just outside of reach. Is that all you got? On you the contrary. Reiner. Yes. And did your Let go. us go. A battle of darkness and light. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> want to hit the, the dog thing, so let's just go for one of the humanoid angel guys. Oh, Very goodness. Well. Saving the best for last, no doubt. No, no, no. That's no? Oh. not what Is I it, meant at all. The dog wasn't the leader? That's not the point. Oh. Just go for the angels. You got all it! Right. <laughs> <That's fun. laughs> Dashes forward with a spinning tornado slash. <laughs> Alrighty, which which Angemon are you aiming at? Let's go for the one on the left. One on the left, very well. Go ahead and roll me. Actually, hold on. Let me roll his brawn check first before you do a fight. Yep, yep, I yep. need to add tokens. Of course. You guys are both champions, so no bonuses. You're free versus his vaccine, so no bonuses on that end of things. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you you have to beat an eight. Behold! I'm dead! You come in with a rising slash across the chest that kind of makes its way through the, the seven-star pattern on his chest here with those dots. And you deal a point of damage to the one to the left there. Ryan, or anything on your go? Uh... I mean, all I could do is throw something at it, right? I mean, I mean, you're in a server room, so no hard rocks. drive. Did you hard bring drive. the rock? What's <laughs> out? Okay, I was about to say the rock that we blew up. Could he have taken its corpse? Uh, I'm gonna say if you're trying to throw floppy disks, they don't really have a lot of fighting power on this. So I'm not even gonna make them roll a defensive roll. I would like you just to roll a fight roll, and we'll see how high it gets. I'm trying to aim for their. Uh... I guess they don't have eyes. <laughs> I mean, they're their helmet. So. <laughs> their hands make them drop. Ah, the my snap. helmet! <laughs> like, oh, my eyes! I have it's one like big this. eye. <laughs> ah, my dick. Yeah. So go ahead and give me a fight check, Reiner. <laughs> Just slips underneath the helmet. Ow, my eyes! I have those. I fight check. Okay. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> Does anything activate if I'm protecting? Am I protecting? In this I case, guess... it's, you're not really protecting anyone. You're going yeah, on the true. offensive. So not in sure. this case, it's just a flat roll. Uh, yeah. The floppy disks work about <laughs> as well as you expect. <laughs> as you attempt to just be like ninja starring them and they kind of <laughs> impact into the bodies of at least one or two of the Angemon who don't move. Can we say the sound effect was really cool, though? Uh, I need it a rock, a nice guys. nice little click-clacking <laughs> sound. They anyone got, like a, like, a softball or a rock? It is now the Angemon's <laughs> turn who Duskmon attacked. He's going to go ahead and try and make a swing at Duskmon. Let's do it. Jokes so. on him. He's half masochist. <laughs> Your fate starts playing. So this is a 16 on their fight check. That's a lot. So you either have to take a brawn check to tank the hit or a flight check to dodge out of the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's probably going to be a brawn check from Duskmon. Uh, so let's give that a shot. I don't think I can beat a 16. Let's see how it goes. How about... Nope. Didn't beat a 16. That's what is wrong with you. I told you over chat. Duskmon's <laughs> dice are trash tonight. I don't have any say over it. <laughs> not his it. dice, so, yo. It's you. Because it's of Duskmon. You. So, because of the differential, 16 versus 2. Oh, no. Duskmon, you see the Angemon fly up into your face. And at first you're like, I could easily handle this. And his fist is already in your sternum before he goes, Fist of Fate! And sends you flying into the back wall as you take two points of damage. Fist of what? 
It's oh. the, the Hendrickson scene. <laughs> when Billy is the... <laughs> Oh, Man, I don't, make I don't have. have his... <laughs> I don't have a sternum, by the way. I just have a really big chest eye. Red, would you make uh, the short for this? Can you just have Desmond's icon fly off screen? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. It's gonna be like a foul smash victory. <laughs> so that is that Angemon's turn. It is now going to be the central Angemon's turn. Who? is going to turn to Flame Mon. And I'm going to spend some tokens here for this one. And he's going to make a fight roll against you. Let me go ahead and roll his attack first. Well, no matter what, I... So it is a 12 for the fight check. Technically, it is going to be champion versus rookie, so it's actually 13 is what you okay. have to beat on either a flight or a brawn. Question. Possible answer. It's Instead of flight or brawn, can I use fight to counterattack? I'm gonna say if you want to do that, you will take damage, but you can potentially do damage to him if you beat him. <laughs> if you want to cross counter this, just know you'll take damage, but if you fail, you might take more. Walking, I've been playing shit safe for a while. Let's gamble. All right, go ahead and roll me a fight check. He's You've got to beat a 13. Damn it! So you attempt to come in and counter with the hammer. And as you're trying to bring it up, you realize, oh, this doesn't have the same weight distribution as the last one did, which had two hand. <laughs> you could two hand it. And as you're trying to readjust it a little bit more, you hear a crack and you're like, well, I wonder what that's from. And you realize it's from his staff impacting your face, sending you flying off to the right-hand side as you take two points of damage. I still have the hit points. I mean, ow. <laughs> Next up in the order is Salomon, who's going to get up and let out a bark as you all hear. Puppy howling! And I would like all Digimon at the very least to roll me a flight check or sorry, a brawn check, DC is 12. Oh, that's bad for me. Right, okay, 10's not... Oh, oh wow. shit! God damn it! What the... What? Terrier <laughs> Mon, no! I, I want that dog! <laughs> Wizard <laughs> Mon, no! <laughs> Monodron? Oh, God, I, I really want to fight that Stop dog! Stop hacking dog. this game, Nick. <laughs> I've done nothing... I've done nothing you can prove. <laughs> Closes the tab. <laughs> uh, Grimity Majamon. Yep. Monodramon Brawn Roll. DC 12. Oh, wait. Oh, but I have defense, but... Uh, yeah, you act... Actually, a uh, uh, four. Hey, Swim, do you have any tokens left? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Do we need ten? Grim. You have to beat it. You have to beat a twelve. Either meet it or beat it. Because if you meet it, defender wins. Grim. Grim. Mm, We're still waiting roll. on you. Grim We've been waiting still... on you the whole time. Do we know you what this 12? is? Twelve? You need to, you need to make a either meet check. or beat a brawn check of twelve. Monodramon. Oh, I have to roll as the Yes, Monodramon. Every Digimon needed to oh. roll. Do we know what kind of... Is this a stunning stats effect or something? We'll see as soon as the roll comes out. Because... Uh, anyway, you said that t one has a 4, right? Yeah, it's actually... Ah! So... Because of, of defense in innocent eyes <laughs> and uh, ironclad. There it so, goes. is anyone spending tokens to beat the DC? I'm spending no. 8. I meet... All right. It needs to be... Th what was it, 13 you said? You had well, to beat 12, 12. so Monodramon's good. Uh, you said Terriermon is spending five, tokens? Six, seven, yeah, I, I'm... I, I'm putting so many, but that's... That's fine. Wait. Yeah, I need it. If it's 12, I can help uh, Flamemon beat it. Yeah, the, you have to meet or beat 12. Now nah, we're good. 
I think right, we're so good. Chase. Flamemon yeah, is good, Terriermon good. is good, and Monodramon is good. So Duskmon and Wizardmon are affected, correct? Yep. All right. So, oh, Duskmon and Wizardmon, you hear this piercing cry in your ears, and it drops you to a knee. You both are considered paralyzed. Oh shit! Oh, fuck. you know, guys, it occurs to me I was considering making uh, heal chips back downstairs. Mm -hmm. Things got away from me there. Oh boy! Oh, boy. We'll do that when we survive this and kill that dog. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Ah, oh, dang! I think Monodramon's immune to that. <laughs> is is Monodramon just immune? Monodramon I think he would have been. Immune to panic. Immune to, oh, panic! I'm sorry. Yeah, panic, not paralysis. Yeah. So, I know. I said I think. One condition we haven't encountered yet. Yep. So, top of the order is Grayson. You and Terriermon are good right now. Is the Angimon that attacked Flamemon or Dustmon still ground level? I'm thinking of attacking. Uh, you, you first. You first. I just want an answer for that first. They really can't fly very well in here because it's an office space, so they're, if right. anything, just kind of slightly hovering above the ground. Red, what do you want Terrymon to do? I was going to have Terrymon attack Salamon, but what are you planning? Okay, uh, you can do that. I'm just going to try this first. Okay. Uh, the one that attacked... Flamemon, let's say. I would All like right. to grapple him. Okay. What uh, the fuck? If that's the case... Let's see. That's going to be com uh, contesting brawn checks. Don't so let me go ahead and <laughs> let me go ahead and add tokens first. He, uh, Grayson reveals under his jacket there's a bunch of uh, N uh, Nvidia 3070s that are overheating, ready to explode. So I got so many lithium batteries, guys. So in order to so you'd have to beat a... I'm adding the plus one on this. You have to beat a nine brawn check. Okay. Because What's you're trying your to grapple him. Well, my D8 didn't succeed, so I now have an adversity token. Uh, Terrymon, fire away. So you <laughs> attempt to jump up and oh. grab at the... Angemon, who uses his one free hand that's not holding a staff to kind of, like, grab you by the face and shove you backwards. <laughs> as you kind of land on your butt. It doesn't feel great, especially since uh, I believe your shield was broken. The only yep. one that's still active is Reiner's. So, Terriamon, what are you doing? Uh, oh, should I attack the Salamon or the, or the Angemon you just attacked? Salamon, oh, go for Salamon. All right, I'm going to attack Salamon against, uh, do I still have the plus three? That yeah, plus uh, three has been used. It was okay, for the so next flight roll, which you've already used up. Okay, so this is just going to be same as before, just going to tackle into him. And can I attempt to pin him with it? That's like rush into him and try and pin him to the wall. Sure or enough, I'm going to I'm gonna have him do a flight check as well, but I'm adding tokens. So give me a moment to roll. Okay. You have to beat a 13 on the flight check. I have plus one because of innocent eyes. There we go. That's enough. So, sure enough, you, with a terror tornado, he tries to duck out of the way, and you collide into him, and you're saying, you said you're trying to pin him down? Yeah. All right. You collide into him, and as you pin him down, you look at his eyes, and you can see that they're kind of like swirls as he is knocked out. Okay, not you're not a problem anymore. <laughs> Because you said you were trying to pin him, that's why I'm saying he's not broken down into data. Okay. Because you weren't aiming for a damaging attack. You were more like, oh, let's just get him, not, like, keep him out of the fight. So out of curiosity, had Terrymon be going for lethal, would he be, like, down and out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Way to go, man. Good job, Terrymon. Okay. Next up, uh, and in the order. If, I have, if he has any ability to do anything left, he's going to try and make his way over to Grayson. Fair enough. I, I'll I'll say that currently you're unfolding yourself from Salomon at this point. Right. So on my way. You're on your way back. Next up in the order is yeah. Gary and Wizardmon. Wizardmon. I need you to make me a flight check. The DC is twelve. Uh, 
Okay. This is to try and break free of the paralysis. That oh, cabin. No. That's so, not great. That is by a differential of ten. I need you to keep track of this right now. Wizardmon cannot move. And for the remainder of this combat, you have a minus one penalty to all of your rolls. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. You oh, see Wizardmon just kind of trying to stand, and you almost see the equivalent of, like, light or electricity arcing off his body, keeping him kneeled to the ground. Uh, uh Wizard Mon, is, is there anything I can do to help? Um, I, I used the status chip up, um, uh, oh, jeez. I don't know that I can do a whole lot. Were you by hap perhaps prepared for this? You're right, I should have tried to use the thing to make chips. I'm sorry. It's all right. Gary, anything on your turn? Um. I'm gonna try to, well, I don't know. Um, I don't know what he really could do right now. If you just want to come Find the rock run, and can. give it the right. There <laughs> you go. Yeah, well, that gone. Yeah, I'll try to, I'm, I'll try to help I'm Wizardmon to any extent that I can. Throw practicing throws. Fair enough. Uh, next up in the order, Riot and Flamemon. Okay. All right, I have an idea, and it is high risk, high reward, or maybe just funny. <laughs> well, Flamemon's already taken two damage, so. Yeah, I've got a heal chip. You might want to put it on Flamemon. Do I have? I don't think I have one. Well. Yeah, we got what we got, unfortunately. Got what you got, bud. Um, I want to... So, I want to try and do a combo kind of attack here. I'm All trying right. to daze out one of the, uh... Frickin' Angemons with my part of it, and then Flamemon to take up the final with his hammer. What I want to do is kick the unconscious Salomon into one of the Angemons, <laughs> dazing them. All right. Uh, I would say go ahead and roll me a fight check. The DC is going to be... I'll set it to 11. You might just end up blowing it up. Or giving an unconscious this enemy into the hands of the enemy so they can uh, get but, to but, the safety. <laughs> But hey, honestly, that's, like you said, high risk, high reward. Let's try this out. So 11 to kick the puppy again. And then, okay, so we'll do it in two parts and then worry about flame on this part. Okay. Yep. All right. So, you, so you're so you attempting to soccer ball a puppy. Good to know. 11 for the fight check. He's already Don't dead! I have no weapon! All I oh. have is to create a weapon! Of this dog, <laughs> you can kick the Angemon. Don't worry, guys. We'll defeat them with the power of friendship and this puppy I found unconscious. <laughs> I mean, the Angemon was able. Grayson I'm, was I'm, able to I'm not. I'm not attempting. bashing you. I just think this is funny. <laughs> but go ahead. Roll. Roll the fight check. Cool. I, I just want to say I was attacking Salomon before it was cool. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, bud. Jack. But to be fair, when you did, you were also a puppy. That's true. That's true. So it was, puppy it was puppy okay. violence is okay, but all and make of a sure that when a big person kicks a puppy, make, yeah. make sure that again it's Riot doing the role. So oh, there fuck. we go. Damn, so, what do you need to get? Uh, you needed an eleven. I'm I'm, I'm 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 not. I'm just not spending to make so, that. It's not that important to me. You attempt to kick the puppy, and you don't realize where your foot is placed, and you end up kicking one of the uh, broken down servers. What? Which doesn't move very far, but it cracks under your iron boot. And Salomon remains unconscious unmoved as you kind of just kicked one of the servers. Is there, like, a broken portion of the server? Probably skittering around somewhere. Can I throw it to Reiner? <laughs> I'm going to say that's going to be up to Reiner's turn. 
<laughs> you, you've kicked it away from you. So, Flamon, what are you doing? I, I was kind of hoping Power Might would accidentally kick the to the angel. <laughs> <laughs> Terrymon is on the route to back to Grayson, so you weren't able to kick the other puppy. Damn it! It would have been so funny if you just booted Terrymon. Oh, I guess any dog's okay to kick. You just don't see the difference, do you, right? <laughs> we don't want to put that on a shirt. Riot condones kicking dogs. <laughs> Dog <laughs> kicker nine thousand. I just thought it would be funny. Flamon is going to drop the hammer, ball his hand into a fist, and. Like, so you can basically use a uh, noble heart and just flaming uppercut this Angemon and with all the might he can muster. Fair like, enough. Fine. Let me sp let me. Uh, yeah, yeah it, there's the middle left the and face. right. All right. Give one uh, that cracked in the face before. The one that cracked you in the face before was the second one. So I love how both of Storm's characters are teaming up on this one Angemon. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, it would have been the last one. So yeah, go ahead and uh, let me let me add tokens first. Especially one, his characters is just not built for this. Ron check to tank it. He's going to get a plus one because champion versus rookie. Yeah, he doesn't need anything. Uh, that is a seven on the brawn check. I need you to make a fight check. Pyle, please tell me you have some kind of tokens left. Oh, uh, what did you need to make? I, I just need uh, three. three. Yeah, I, I got that. Yeah. So why you I go ahead and spend it on punting a puppy. <laughs> so oh, as the Angemon is distracted and kind of looking over to the side to see how Salomon is doing as you attempted to kick him, that's enough that of a distraction. That's enough of a distraction for Flamon to get in and crack across the side of the head, dealing a point of damage to the Angemon. I didn't hear no bell. Next up is ER and Monodramon. All right. Well, this is going well, I think. You want to try it again? Oh, let's do it. All right. <laughs> well, what do you want to do, buddy? You want to throw me again, partner? Oh, yeah. Headbutt All cannon. Right. It's going to be another brawn check for ER. DC is 10 just to just to get the, the mileage from just yeeting. All righty. Why is that Terriamon? That should be ER, but that's also still, uh... I don't think I should put tokens into that, unfortunately. So, you go ahead and you try to throw Terriamon. It's at this point that the fatigue from the stairs is finally hitting you. Oh, as no. you throw, and you don't get a lot of airtime, but Monodramon, you get at least a bit of a slight running start as you try to make your way towards... Which Angemon are you going towards? Middle, left, or right? Uh... Which is the one I attacked in? Wasn't that the middle one? That was the middle one. I'll go for the middle one. All right, go ahead and let me actually... The solar plexus of this Angemon, who kind of hobbles down to one knee slightly. His wings kind of fading. He's looking worse for wear at this point. Oh. That's right. That's what you get. <laughs> so, the Angemon is down... It's still up, but it is struggling. Point. As as Monodramon gets the headbutt in the solar plexus and kind of winds on back. That is your go. It is now that it is now the Angemon's turn that was cracked over the head by Flamemon. It's going to turn back towards you, Flamemon. And from a distance, go. I believe we've had enough meddling from the children. Fist of Fate! And is going to make an attack roll against you. Check, so one second here while I add the tokens I'm doing here. Who is he hitting? Monodromon? He's going after Flamemon. Oh, Flamemon. Ooh. You have to... So he got an 11 on his fight check. So either Brawn or Flight to either tank the hit or dodge. Brawn, that's all I can do. Flight is D4. All right. Go ahead and give me a flight check. You have to beat an, either meet or beat an 11. Uh! Yeah, I'm not making that. Pyro, you got enough tokens or you got nothing? Uh, how many do I need to do? You six. have to meet or beat an 11. So five beat an more. 11, I need to put six in. I don't have six. Five, yeah, five. No mistake. I don't have five either. 
So take your one token as you see that Angemon sends out a blast of light from his fist, similar to how it impacted into Duskmon, but instead of from point blank range. And Flamemon, you impact into the wall and collapse to the ground. You are unconscious. Oh no. Hey, Power Up Curiosity, did that one token you just got make, put you to five? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, we'd like oh, no. to use uh, Not Done Yet. You may spend five adversity tokens to remain at one HP. Actually, like are to you going to do that? Idea. Let's do that. So, yeah. as you collapse to the ground, <clears throat> the Angemon kind of looks back towards the rest of you and hears a thumping as the beating of your heart burns and you stand up and the flame from your tail and your fists begins to grow. You are not done yet. You're at one HP. I'm not done. That is that one's turn. Reiner. First up, Duskmon. I need you to roll me a flight check. DC is 12 to see if you get out of the paralysis. Come okay, on. I add two to flight. Let's do it. Oh, is it where he's already put in there? No, I'm I manually it. adding it. Okay. God damn it! That's with the plus two. Oh, That's no. with the plus two! So, you do not take a, a minus penalty, but you cannot take actions or move this turn as you are still struggling <sighs> to stand. The ringing in your ears, the impact to your chest, it's rough. Is there a way I can help him? Un get unparalyzed. If, if you want to spend your turn to try and give him another attempt, you can. Yeah, I but will. that will it'll it might end the paralysis or it might make it worse. But his turn is basically over. I this mean, will essentially make sure he doesn't worse. have to do it again. So you go over and you're trying to help out with Duskmon. Give me another flight check. DC is still twelve. Okay, let me swap him up. And remember, this was a failure. So make sure that uh, Reiner takes his token. Okay. From the initial failure on this roll. And then oh, Duskmon's uh, rolling again. The Duskmon's Digimon are considered friends, time. right? Like, <laughs> Do you not consider uh, Duskmon a friend? No, because that, I don't know what, what it's considering. Is it just the tamers I'm protecting, or is it everyone? If it's I would say them. in this case, because I'm not you're defending. Assisting, I'm not defending. I would, I? Say in this, I would say in this case, because you're trying to get Duskmon out of a tight situation, he can add his, that plus three bonus to this roll. Okay. Okay. Because so, you're trying to help get him out of that paralysis. So he's rolling and adding five. Because so yes, add five that. to whatever your roll is. It's a flight check. You got to either meet or beat a 12. Flight. Okay. Uh, one away. <laughs> no, this is for oh. Duskmon to roll. But that said, that's an 11. Reiner, do you want to spend tell a token? Me you have an adversity token. Yeah, I have a bunch. <laughs> okay, cool. I had to, be, I had to get, what, 11? We so, are drowning while so this is So here's the, the, so here's the thing. One adverse, so good. Paralysis, okay. this would be just to, this isn't to clear the status. If you wanted to clear the status, you have to roll higher. Okay, so how much uh, higher? So currently, you're at 11 right now. If you want yeah. to clear the status, you have to beat, beat, you have to beat the roll by five. Right, so you're I'd currently at an 11 in order I'm to... I'm five. You'd have, uh, you'd have to put six because you're at 11 right now. All right, I'll put six. So okay. you go ahead and you, like, give a... a the equivalent of, like, uh, Hajime no Ippo slap on the back that shudders through Duskmon's system. Come on, Duskmon. Who immediately stands up. <laughs> ah! so Is this Duskmon, really all you got? You... <laughs> Your turn is over for both of you, but you are clear to the paralysis status. You don't need to keep rolling on your turns. Okay. So that is your go. Show game. you what I've got. Next up is the second Angemon, who is going to go ahead and make an attack on Terriermon. Bring it on! We're going to go ahead my and boy alone. We're going to spend some tokens here. My fluffy boy. I can dodge it. You have to be a 17. I can juke that. And this is after the champion bonus. Oh, let me see. Uh, plus two to all defense, plus one to all defense, or plus three. Uh oh. So, what was it, you, see? you had to 17. beat a 17 or meet it. 
Don't worry about it. I've got HP. Okay. So, this Angemon comes up to you, and with the back end of his staff, as you're trying to make your way back to Grayson, impacts you into the side and sends you colliding into some of the different servers that are broken down at this point. You're taking one point of damage. I just go, who hits a puppy? <laughs> that is that one's turn. It is now the middle Angemon's turn, who is going to spend his turn. He goes over to Salomon, places no. a hand over him, and I'm going to have to roll a charm check to see I'm if he's able to do so. Kick the puppy. <laughs> this will be a charm check, which I'm going to set the DC for him because it's going to be difficult for a heal on this. I'm going to set the DC to 15 that he has to make. I will come back over there and I will make sure he stays down. He did not roll enough. He rolled a two. You see light emanating from his hand. He's starting the healing process, but he's also the one that got knocked down by Monodramon. So he's kind of like crawled over to Salomon to start healing. <laughs> so he's not walking. Salomon is not up. Even. Salomon's not up yet, but he's trying to heal Salomon. We go back to the top of the order, Grayson. I'm going to rush in there and take out Salomon. Grayson or Terriermon is? Yeah, Terriermon. Grayson okay. runs in and punches it in the face over and over again. <laughs> okay, Just if you terrible. are attempting to destroy Salomon, it's going to be a fight check and it's going to be a DC of 10. Okay, Grayson, you got anything left on you? I got a few things. Okay, I have a plus one to attack. It's a D12. So I can't do another uh, flight uh, Terrio Tornado? You're... Because of the fact that normally Terrier Tornado is meant to, like, knock targets out of the air or to kind of, like, disrupt them, this guy's this prone on the ground. You have to make an attack on him to get rid of him. Blazing fire. Blazing uh, fire. Whoa! Hey! And with that, you send out a Ooh, burst of flame bah. from your face. And you watch as Angemon's hand lifts back. And Salomon... Slowly but surely, fades away. I just throw up the horn, just go, Hail Satan. You just <laughs> kill, kill the child? You have a horn! Yeah. <laughs> so, next up in the order. Uh, Take I, that, I, you I, asshole! Unless, Grayson, hasn't Grayson gone what, have you, what have you got, Grayson? So I have a heal ship. I don't know if I should use it on Flamon, who's at death's freaking door, or Terriamon, who took a point of damage. I'm I'm, I'm at two. Use it on Flamon. Okay. Uh, Flamon healed. Flamon, you got one hit point back. Oh, only one? Ah, damn, what a waste. No, we're alive. <laughs> so, if you see healing myself, as I the think energy... all the Angemon are mad at me. As the energy leaves Grayson's Digivice, Flamon, you feel a little bit more of that rejuvenation of energy. That is Thank your you, guys. It sounds vaguely like me. You're welcome. <laughs> Gary and Wizardmon, huh. I need you to roll me another flight check. DC is still 12. You're taking that minus one penalty. Boy. So Wizardmon's making yeah, Wizardmon's roll. rolling a Wizardmon flight has check. to roll. Flight okay. check is 12. You have to, you are taking a minus one penalty to this. Yep. Fuck. Yep. I believe in you. Yeah! Yeah! And is that with the minus one? That is, that is, so that's a 16. So that's I'll plus spend four. A point of adversity to give him the plus one. So. Wizardmon, you feel a reassurance of, like, a hand on your shoulder from Gary, and you, through the paralysis, turn to look at him. And he's got a gaze of reliance on you. He's like, you've got this. And you stand, the electricity and light arcing off of you dissipates. And you are able to act this turn. You still have that minus one penalty. But you no longer have to roll paralysis checks. Well, 
Okay, so a minus one to anything that happens. Anything yep. that you do this combat. I have a plan. Uh, Wizard Mon is going to open up zippers on both of his hands and his knees. A uh, vapor is going to start to emit, emit from those openings there and turn to ice in front of him. He's going to then put a hand on it and shatter and send them forward at the en enemy. Crystalline scattershot. I would like you to go ahead and roll me a fight check. Take your minus one penalty on this. You're doing a scatter shot, so we're going to see how many it hits based on how high the fight roll is. All right. And then I will roll their brawn rolls or flight rolls to try and evade. Fight check. I get... Ha 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 Here's where the fun part comes in. So I get a minus right. one, but I already get a plus one. Plus, I get the the type advantage, so I'm back to a plus one. That's fine. Let's go. What Here's do we got? What begins. do we got? Give me something pretty. I'll take it. So, that is going to hit 18. the central Angemon, and it's going to hit the one that is to the left. So, I'm going to have them roll brawn checks against your 17, and I'm not going to add tokens to them. They just have to flat roll. It's an 18, actually. It's not calculating the plus one for data. So, like I said, so it'll still be those two. If it had broken 20, then I would say all three got hit. But we're going to see I, how they do. Can I put some stuff in there? Can I put in, some special sauce on there? What special sauce are you trying to throw <laughs> on here? Spending adversity tokens. In this case, I'm going to say no, because I'm not spending any on Understand. the Angemon here. So That's we're just going to see what these two do. So the first one okay. clearly fails. The second one doesn't do very well. But give me a second here. My my game decided to just reboot me out. Yeah, I did that to roll 20 generally, it looked like. So for the central Angemon, the ice impacts into his body and you see him scatter into data. Oh! The one to the left Whee. takes multiple shards to the body and takes two points of damage. Hell yeah. That is Gary's turn, I believe. Yep. It is now Riot and Flamemon. Flamemon is going to ignite both fists and on the one on the left, which I assume is the one that's been hailing Helm. Is that correct? That is correct. And that's the one that just got blasted with ice shards. He is going to light up both fists and like Luffy at Eni's lobby doing gum gum grappling, uh, Gatling, just go to town. Where each ice shard in uh, impacted, he's punching it in. All right, I'm going to roll the brawn check, and I'm adding tokens to this, so give me a second. You don't have to. I ha I do have to. I have to make this hard. No. You, no. you have to beat a 13 brawn check. Oh. <laughs> so you're doing a fight check. You have to beat the 13. One hey, there you go. Damn it. Well, Pyro, you got a new token. Hey. One so, token, let's go! You see the Angemon stand up and with his staff crack the ice off of his body and as you're impacting with his fists you see him parry each blow with the staff before eventually you slide backwards. No damage taken from either side. Oh, come on! Riot, do you have anything? Hey, buddy, can I have my hammer back right quick? He tossed it already to the side so you have to go pick it up. <laughs> I kick it over them. Yeah, here you go. Sorry. All right. Riot's gonna pop into a freaking start of a run as he's running, pick up his hammer, and he's just gonna freaking try and clock the dang thing in its metal he uh, helmet head. 
All right, go ahead and well, hold up. Let me roll a uh, spend some tokens here and roll a brawn check. You have to beat a thirteen. Oh, and uh, I I should say that I'm going for the ice one. That's fine. You still okay. have to beat a thirteen. <laughs> okay. Uh, on a what kind of roll? It is you're you're hitting it with a hammer, so fight roll. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta be a 13. Let's do this right. Yeah, take that! <laughs> you know, when I you know think about it, 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 we think about a one's a really strange number. So. It's a lonely just, number. So it's zero. Exactly. exactly. Riot, you swing up with the hammer. As you kind of dra you're dragging it along the ground, it's making sparks as it's clattering along the ground, as well as the server parts. And you swing upwards for a uppercut style swing with this hammer. Before this Anjumon looks at your attempted impact, and much like the same how the cross counter went with Flamemon, with his staff impacts you in the chest, and you go flying backwards. <laughs> Hey, don't you hit him! And as you cough, it is at this point that you feel something running down your mouth. And as you wipe it away, you realize you have blood on your fingers. Oh, yeah. <sighs> the shield was down. Hey, guys, does anybody else remember that the shields were down? Oh, yeah, I remember that. I, oh, my God. <laughs> oh no. You see Riot on his butt, hammer clattered to the side. Not doing very hot. Boy, right, that's my job to be reckless. <sighs> Next up is ER. Oh, oh no! Uh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> okay, uh, defense mode activate. I'm going to try and get over to riots and try and drag him behind cover all right you go ahead and do so through some of the broken debris of the uh the servers just to get out of line of sight yeah and i'm going to try and start patching him up all righty monitor mon all right hmm so how are the two angemon looking again right now the one to the left is the one that got hit by wizard mon's the one to the right looks relatively unscathed, but has been damaged. Well, let's attack that one on the right. Very well. Uh, let me go ahead and roll a brawn check. Spend some tokens here. I got. Gonna... My, I, I get my two uh, uh, my nails, like claws. I get my claws in my eyes. And I point at him, saying, "Like you're next." <laughs> you have to beat an eleven. You're doing a fight check. Yes. Watch me as I obliterate him with a single headbutt. So fight. All right. You got this. Wait, it's got a weird input thing. Let me undo that. There we go. Oh! <laughs> ah! You're next. <laughs> So Yo, I obliterated him <laughs> with a so, single head. I got it. It's so, Monodramon, I would oh. like to ask you, what happens? Oh my! <laughs> Who needs strike, Jamon? Really? <laughs> when you think uh, about it, Monodramon is weird. I want to imagine. Get around that shit up. As, as I point at him, like, like. You're my next target. He just goes out there and just goes like, it's like, <laughs> yeah, right. Like, he just blows me off. And so I charge in. <sighs> I don't know how to describe this. I don't think I could go like it, fucking it, quick I've, I've, speed. I've got one for you. You ready? I'll try it. Oh, okay. You all see Monodramon dive forward with a powerful headbutt and... Have you guys seen that 
old episode of uh, of Dragon Ball where Kid Goku yeah. thrusts his way for King Piccolo. That's a, essentially yes. what happens. As oh. there is a monodramon sized hole in Anjumon's chest as it looks down at itself before eventually fading into data. He underestimated me. That's what, that's what you get. It's what you get for underestimating the world <laughs> the world leader in head button. Alrighty. Next up is Reiner and Duskmon. I wanna I wanna just acknowledge right quick when ER dragged me, he didn't drag me with the hammer. The hammer is still right next to Reiner. That's fine. <laughs> the hammer? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the little it's Thor like hammer. <laughs> In a way, how big is it? It's about this, like the handle is ball peen hammer size. The head of the hammer, like imagine, like like we said before, imagine Mjolnir. It's kind of like that. Oh, okay. I pick it up. Is right. it? It's got. Am it's I able to pick it up? Yeah, it's got some heft, but it's. Okay, able it's to be not up. that much like Mjolnir. It's not a. You have to be worthy. <laughs> All right. Uh. I think I'll I'll go in with Duskmon to attack Anj the last Anjumon. Hell yeah. Very well. Uh, give me one second. Uh, who's attacking first is the question. Duskmon. Duskmon's attacking I first mean, very well. I'm just saying, if Duskmon's attacking first, what's going to be left to attack? So, <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to roll a brawn check. I'm adding some tokens, because I have to. You have to beat a 16. Is that um, all? I rolled a one and I added 15 tokens. Wow. <laughs> All right. You have to beat a 16. Here we go then. So here's the thing that I want to, that I want to mention that Grim and I were messaging about. Yeah. Dustmon normally adds two to fight from his yeah, various okay. features. He's now below half health. So he adds five to fight on top yes, of that. Yes, you do. <laughs> so I will be adding seven to this roll before any adversity <laughs> tokens happen. That's fine. Let's see how it goes. We got a, a, a paltry 22 on an explode. <laughs> Very well. Uh, so I want to add on to that. I'm going to I'm gonna say, say <laughs> Reiner, go ahead and roll me your fight check. Let's see if you also oh. beat the 16. Oh, my. Please. Reiner. Yep. Oh. I'll put three in for fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, almost choreographed. Reiner, you come in with the hammer and you swing low, impacting into the side of Anjumon's legs. So it kind of sweeps. And as it's kind of perpendicular in the air, Duskmon, you have your sword arm raised and bring it straight down in a slash. And the Anjumon dissipates <laughs> as combat is now over hell yeah holy yeah. crap piece of cake everybody way to go <laughs> oh my gosh this is insane tonight the craziest so. rolls i've seen <laughs> on both ends too like the, the worst rolls i've seen and the best rolls double right i don't think nothing beats on. the uh Hacking one, but you know. <laughs> not yet. I think so, when you add all the big rolls, it, it gets there. <laughs> As the dust settles from the battle, you all see that Riot is not doing so hot. <laughs> oh, okay, I would like. Good. I will use a use of my medicine kit. Sure enough, you go ahead and you pull out uh, a couple of painkillers and you go ahead and lift up a uh, right shirt and you can see where the impact area is from the the bow staff. And Moving you go ahead on. and you put a nice little uh, a nice little salve over the top end just to help ease some of the aches and pains before Flamon, wrapping it up. Flamon just looks at the blood that I spat up, look at his fists, and he just slams the newest server room just 
It's okay. It's we got him. He's good. Himself. It's all right, bud. If anything, this just tells me I need to upgrade those shields. <laughs> hey, um, Wizard Mon, I don't know what you're capable of. Can you help with anything with this? Can you, like, heal or help at all? Is that what you want, Gary? Yeah. Yeah, Riot's messed up. Very well, then. Um, Wizardmon will attempt to do healing magic. I'd like you to roll me a charm check. The DC is 15. Ooh. It's going to be difficult because you've never tried this. But I'm not incapable of it is what you're saying. Okay. It, it's within possibility. It's just going to be tough. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's very important. Is the yeah. negative one still in effect? Combat's over, so no. Okay. Oh, I you can't put enough on that. Reach your hand out, and you feel that surge of power, and you're sorting through the list of various bits of arcane knowledge you have. Fire, lightning, ice. Whatever it is that Gary wants you to do, it would take a lot of time to dig that out of your knowledge banks. And based on what's been going on, you really don't have a lot of time on your hands. You have necromancy. So you reach your hand out and... You kind of close it before you actually let off any magic, realizing that if you did, it'd probably make things worse. It Grayson is... like what you want is, at least for now, beyond my reach. I'm sorry. It was worth a it's okay. It was worth a shot. Grayson is going to check in on Terriamon. Hey, buddy, you okay? Yeah, big up. Yeah, don't focus on riot right now, it's fine. Uh, Eeyore's going to use, uh, expend a use of a medicine kit to fix up riot. Uh, I did say that from your medicine kit you were able to give him some painkillers, as well as to put some form of salve over the impact of the wound, so it helps to mitigate some of the bruising. That's about as much as you can do. Grayson, with okay. his, uh, noodle arms, is going to try to drag over the, uh, hammer that he can use as, as a cane and uh, it's not long enough for a cane anymore that, that oh. hammer's not working as a cane anymore oh it's no longer a case, long hammer right uh magic okay. Was, okay if he like holds your staff is, is that something he can lean on for a little bit that's not that, okay because that's wizard mod a wizard mod <laughs> <laughs> no, guys I'm, I'm still on it i just so met this guy today Let's take 20 and rest up. Uh, I'm giving you a prescription from your doctor, me, to not fucking jump in the fight anymore, dude. If he needs something to move on, hold on. Don't, no, don't, no not yet. Let, let's take a few minutes to let him rest. I don't want him to move right away. Hmm. Um, okay. If, anything, but... if, you have, if you have any water left, let's give him some of that. Uh, okay. But, like, uh, for, for the sake of your, your necessities, Wizardmon was going to, like, oh, try I'm, and I'm sorry. pull out of space. Because scavenge oh. is still a thing I'm capable of doing. Yeah, you I'm are. Sake. Um, so, opening a portal right quick, he literally walks into what appears to be a hospital and pulls out <laughs> What, and comes back into our realm with what you know those things where where someone is able to scooter on <laughs> but they have their way? knee cushioned on it so they can move with not putting pressure on everything i i am aware of it and i hate that i'm aware of what that is because <laughs> i've seen plenty of people at work who use that so yeah oh, he's got one of those that riot can be on 
I saw a lot of those at physical therapy. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, guys, just a question, and no offense meant by this. ER, wouldn't, wouldn't you think you'd be the one getting hurt more often than I would, you know? I know, I'm frustrated at that. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my job to break bones, not yours. Okay, that shouldn't be that fucking fun. Riot, I, I, I understand what you mean, and I want you to... Uh, no offense by this, I'm better at it. Yeah, let's let's leave that to the pros. Yeah, so please stop I, rushing into the fight for now. I don't know if you have like a death wish or something or whatever, but please don't get yourself killed. I don't have a death wish. I'm just. You're I mean, I don't even. I don't, I don't think I'm reckless. I just think, like, let's look back at that fight. All right. It took a certain amount of gumption to take all of those guys down. We were down by a couple of our friends here. So someone had to pick up the slack. And I'm not meaning that like a, a dig against us, but I really don't think we can always sit on the sidelines. Okay, I, I get what you're saying, but you jumping in actually didn't accomplish much. It was still the Digimon that did it. I disagree. I think... Maybe you don't feel like I put a lot into it, but that might be no, the you... difference between Flamemon still being here. Flamemon just will blow his head. At this point, at the far end of the room, you hear a beeping sound? before a click unlocks and you see a portion of the wall slide open, leading to a small flight of stairs that goes further up. Not more stairs! We'll take... Let's we take... just got him a mobility scooter! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if this works, given my horrible noodle arms, but I'm willing to help carry riots up the know, stairs but... of bullshit. Let, let me... A suggestion. It... Yes, do it. Why don't you just carry the scooter? And then Magimon is going to just hold Riot and levitate him. Well, first of all, he doesn't do that because he's a wizard mom. God damn yeah, it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, me too! Every time! Look, every time! We just met this man today. Uh, so, so I'm, wizard mom is going bit. to make that suggestion. Fair enough. So, a lot of you collect yourselves and make your way up the single flight of stairs that leads to another door that is also kind of slid open, like the one you just entered. And you realize that you're in the entryway to CJ's office. And you see the doors just a bit further down the hall. And that's where we're going to end session. Uh, <sighs> woo! What oh. does a man have to do to Digivolve? <laughs> you could have done it if you didn't spend five points of adversity! Believe you me, Wait. guys. I've got plans within plans. <laughs> and next session... Oh, no one's ready for next session. <laughs> I'm talking about EO, but... Uh, damn, I'm trying to die here. <laughs> <laughs> I flipped... I killed the messiah, and I flipped off the angels. I was trying to <laughs> aggro that shit. <laughs> but we got two champions always hanging out around us. I can't get nothing done. I mean, both champions got paralyzed, so it was up That's to the release. That's true. It's very I, uh, true. I would like to quickly apologize to the audience slightly. I I have no control over the net issues there. Generally, my my internet does not do that. So uh, I I apologize for the the drops yeah. that happened throughout there. And um, I'm gonna look into upgrading some of our equipment so that our internet's a little better because all those same drops happened to me. So I'm thinking it's the Google Wi-Fi because Tara's also want to call on this internet that's not on the Google Wi-Fi, and she didn't say she had issues, so probably that. 
Okay, yeah. We'll look into upgrading the equipment and making sure that doesn't happen again. I will yeah, say... Also, we might talk about a some kind of a protocol of, like, if we lose a certain amount of time, do we backtrack things or whatnot? Because we don't want I you can, guys can losing so. parts of the session. I can do some backtracking. It's not that big a deal. Okay. Um, but, we uh, see the mods to keep us up to date. Yeah. I did want to say, at least to let you guys know on things, my DM tokens... My glorious DM tokens. I had to burn a lot of them for this fight. <laughs> I started this battle with somewhere around the lines of about 160 plus. Would you like to guess where I'm at now? No. Two. Under 100. I, I am under 100. Oh, God. Under 75. Oh. Under 75. Oh, my God. Under 75. Under 30. <laughs> I am above 30. I'm at 35. Oh, wow. I was close. Did it, guys. I, I can't I was wait burning, for Tova to die. I was burning them session. in bumps of 5 or 10, guys. Dear God. It was rough in these streets. Haha, -ha, even people in chatting, it closes me. Haha, <laughs> I win. <laughs> uh, but yes, next session should be, if I'm looking at things correctly. Oh, gee, man, was close is going to be on the 27th, assuming that we're all available on things. Great. We will see. I at least probably, I probably won't be available, but we'll see how it goes. Also, right. just as a reminder, we have the uh, post-game uh, celebration. Yes, yes, indeed, because we, um, we're at three. <laughs> we did reach uh, third tier, so right after this, I implore you guys... Uh, exclamation point uh discord go into the server and uh y'all can gather up and hang in the server event room uh we'll be in there about five ten minutes after this uh to show the first minute and a half of digimon tamers a bridge um and besides that uh last things there if you do like the server if you've been having fun in it and whatnot if you want to uh become a server supporter you can uh subscribe there there are a bunch of perks including getting episodes a week early when it comes to your bridge stuff um we're also going to be doing movie nights we're going to be doing uh pretty soon we're working on and beta testing a smuck a Smuckcraft uh, Minecraft server that we're going to be giving folks who are on the Patreon access to. There's plenty of cool stuff on the way, but the uh, server overall, yes, it is free and it's fun and uh, you can interact and have a good time. Thank you. Exactly. And I know I made promises before and saying, "Hey, yeah, guys, we'll we'll, we'll get we'll get there uh, by the end of Data City." I will keep that promise, though probably oh, not boy. the way you hope. <laughs> oh boy. Scary. Terrifying. But that said, again, for everybody who is watching, thank you so much for sticking around with us. To the Vandals of the Vandom, we appreciate you so very much, and we will see you next time, Digidestined. But for now, uh, we'll see you all in the Discord server, because we're gonna we're gonna do our little uh, little teaser. Yeah, yeah, see you in like five minutes. Yeah, we'll see you in about ten. <laughs> <laughs>